Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backseat Painters. I am just rearranging my paint. Kind of getting it situated a little bit. I got a couple new paints today. Well, actually, they're not new. They're pretty much colors that we already had, but that we were out of. Um, I went to the closest Michaels next to me in the next city over this morning, and I got more emerald green. I got more of all of our best colors. Hey, Randy. Oh, are you still there? Hey, Cheryl. So I got um, a couple of the colors that we needed that they didn't have at uh, my local Michaels. So I refilled, let's see, I've got our emerald green. I got more rose gold. I got more um, deep yellow. So we should have all of our colors. Almost all of our colors. So today we've got a couple themes that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be doing for number one, all reds, black, white, and silver. For number two, we're going to be doing a taco theme painting. For number three, we're going to be doing white, navy, and brighter blue in all pearl metallics. Um, number four is going to be red and white. And number five is going to be red, white, and pink. Number six is going to be red, pink, black, and white. So we're going to be doing a couple uh, Valentine's Day type paintings, I feel like. And I do have like quite a few reds, so we can try using all the reds that I have. There's our lovely copper. Gold, wait, gold, rose gold. Gonna be our reds. Hey, Isabel, how's it going? Wait, pinks. So there's still a couple colors that we don't have, but we do have most of the ones. Luckily, the um, Michaels, a town away, had a lot of the colors that we were missing, so. That's actually pretty helpful to move you guys down. So I'm just kind of putting them, I try to keep them together in kind of a color gradient. So that way, when I'm looking for colors, hopefully I can try to find them. In theory, it's... It mostly works, but oh, and I got some more burnt umber too, some of our brown. So, hey Taj, how's it going? All right, so we are just getting started off today. We're kind of off to a slow start because I've had to get all my paints together. <clears throat> all right. Rose gold. And then we have a silver and our burnt umber. All right, so we're all squared away. So we should have most of the colors that we like here. Okay. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and get started. So let's see, our first painting today is going to be black, white, and silver. Hey, three blessings. Hope your day's going good so far. Oh my gosh, I just realized I've been writing 2022 on everything. I wonder how long it's going to take this year to remember to
to write the date correctly. It's always fun to... I wrote it right today, so that's all that matters. Okay. Yeah, I hate the date change, too. I hate the time change, also. Time change is annoying, um, as well. So, let's see. We've got reds. So, this one is going to be reds. Oops. Silver. Black. So, these are going to be, some of these are going to be, like, Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pressure's on you, Mandy. Because, yeah, that would probably be pretty important for that. Okay. I'm just mixing up a little bit more white paint. a little wonky today. Like I said, I went um, out of uh, I went and drove to the closest Michaels, the closest town over so that I could get some more of these colors. We have emerald green again. Like, thank goodness, because it was not the greens were not really fun without the emerald green. And I got more rose gold and I got more sky blue. And, oh, I got the deep yellow, so we have the deep yellow again. It's like, I don't know, they just never restock the paints at my Michaels. Okay, so um, these are the colors that were decided on for this one. So I don't know if you guys want to do something special with this or what. I need to get some new glass, but I just had to get the bare essentials this time. Because um, when I find it, I just, like, I bought, like, probably, like, three bottles of each color. So I had to hold off on the glass just to make sure we had our colors, but... Okay, so what do we want to do with this guy? Do we want to put cells in this or pour it? Um, I don't know. We can do whatever we need to do on this one. So this is going to be an 11 by 14. And don't forget because we're doing a lot of like red and different theme type paintings that we have this um heart glitter so keep that in mind it might look cool on some of these paintings okay so we'll do cells in the red sounds good to me all right, so let's see. This is going to be for number one, and this is going to be. So if you guys get frames and I wrote the date on them as 2022, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's probably going to take me a while to write down the correct date. So, hey, Teresa. All right, so we're going to do cells on the reds. This is crimson. This is a little thick. I don't know why, this color is always a little thick. This is our deep magenta, but to me it looks more like a red. 
This looks almost like a tomato red, maybe. But you can see how different it is from this red. Yeah, this is a really pretty one. This one gets really thick, though. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. 2023, lest we forget. It's almost like a cherry color. And then, oh, this one's more like a tomato color. The other one's like a cherry. This is more tomato. This is bright red. Yeah, when they're next to each other, you can really kind of see the difference in them. Because they definitely are different. All right, so we are going to do silicone drops in that red. And then I'm going to do cell medium in these two reds. So do you guys want to mix all the reds together and then put all the non-reds? Or do you want to layer it, layer it with these other colors? Where we do a red, one of the other ones, a red, one of the other ones. We can layer them or put them together. Oh yes, we do have our themes tonight. Um, there are a lot of Valentine's Day, I feel like, type themes. Tonight, the first one is all reds, black, white, and silver. Number two is taco theme painting. Number three is um, all pearl and metallic, white, navy, and bright, brighter blue. Number four is red and white. Um, number five is red, white, and pink. Number six is black, white, red, and pink. Okay, so we'll layer these guys. Exactly. Exactly. Plus it's Tuesday, so we could kind of do our own um, version of Taco Tuesday, which would be pretty fun. Actually, let's do the silver. And do our silver. Oh wait, red. So we've kind of layered the reds in between all these other colors. Yes, there is going to be a taco painting. A taco painting. Not taco the food, taco painting. Okay. So now we have our drip pan canvas. I'm guessing this is gonna have a lot of red on it. We usually don't have a lot of red on the uh, drip pan canvas. <clears throat> so. I feel like that'll be kind of cool. All right. Um, where are you? Here we go. All right. So this is going to be an 11 by 14 canvas.
that one's kind of bent. There we go. All right, so this is what the cup looks like on this guy. Oh, wow, look, there's little hearts in the cup. Hey, Cool Kill, check out our cup here. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. We've already got hearts in it. Let's see if we're centered. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That's really pretty. Look at that. We got our all of our colors meshed together here. You could kind of see some cells. But only time will tell what happens here. This is kind of space vibes. This is kind of Mars vibes. Um, yes, all reds, black, white, and silver. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we're definitely going to be getting some Mars vibes from these. Hey, Deb. Oh, the alien's gone. Maybe he'll come back somewhere else. This is looking pretty cool, actually. I like it. It looks like, I don't know, like a chocolate-covered cherry or something. Insect wing, you know it. This one has turned out to be really cool. I don't know what, which way I would turn this. That's cool. I like it. And you can see it's still uh, making cells there as well. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I love this. This looks awesome. Let's do a zoom in on it. Well, we could definitely do some blues. We're always ready to do blues for sure. Everybody in here loves that color, myself included, but... Yeah, no, this is definitely volcanic eruption. It looks really, really neat. You can see lots of little cells in that guy. And then check out what's going on the white and the red here. That looks really, really neat. Oh, 
Oh, it really does. It's very true. And then there's one of the reds and the white. But definitely getting a uh, lava type vibes from this. Yeah, those are those are a good color combination for sure. I really love the way that turned out. That's a really cool color combination. I don't know. It looks good. Okay, volcanic eruption. I'm going to write that down. Um, lava of love. That's my contribution. Not the best name, but I tried. Lava splash. See, I'm feeling those lava vibes as well. Yeah, definitely was a good idea. I think it spread the red out across the entire canvas. So for sure. Ooh, molten madness. Yes. I like that one too. Oh my gosh, that's cute, Teresa. I love that hot stuff. Lava to you. Yes. Crimson Chaos. Oh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. Molten Sunday cake. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh my God, I love that. Excellent, excellent names. I thought it was going to turn out to be another Space Jam, but it turned out, and it, to me, this looks, you know, pretty uh, Valentine y themed, which I don't know if that's what we were trying to do, but. Let's see. Blackberry Sunday. Vincent's bod. Yeah, I don't really know if that goes with the painting. Vampire blood. Oh, that's a really good one. Crazy Crush. That's a really good one. <laughs> exactly, Teresa. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Lava You. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Lava you, that is cute. Oh man, these are good. Okay, I like it. We got some really good ones. We got, um, yeah, we got a lot of good names. It looks like a lot of things though. Like I said, I felt like this was going towards like more of a space vibe, but we turned out with more of like, I don't know. More like lava. Uh, why does this one say sold? What did I do wrong? Oh, that must be the one that I sold as a drip pan painting yesterday because I had to rewrite that. Let me do a quick ad real fast.
I am so sorry about that, guys. I forgot to add this painting after yesterday I sold the one from today. I was trying to be organized and get ahead of myself, but... Check out the amazing cells on this guy. Buddy, calm down. It almost looks like a cherry Coke. You know what? I'm going to add that too to the list. I feel like it could also be like a cherry Coke. I feel like this could be a cherry Coke type vibe. So, all right. So let's go to the one that I added. So this is going to be painting number one, and this is 11 by 14. So I'll go ahead and start that guy off. Move you guys back so you can see it. But this one's pretty cool. Definitely Cherry Coke theme in my mind. But this is also could be lava. I feel like this could be a couple different things, really. I'm getting all kinds of different vibes from this guy. But I really like the way it turned turned out, and it's going to be interesting to see because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, like reds, blacks, and whites, but they're all going to be kind of different. So, but they're going to be the same if that makes sense. Congratulations, Teresa! Teresa, you are the father. <coughs> You are the father. So now let's take a look at your painting. And figure out what do you want to do to this? Or if you want, well, first we have to name it. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is so dry. Let me get a cough or something. You gotta name it first. Okay, so let me read the names to you. Oh, Choco Cherry, you already know. <coughs> Choco Cherry. Okay, ideas. Awesome. So we're taking ideas. Teresa's taking some ideas. And keep in mind, of course, we have our smaller pieces of black glass. We have our larger pieces of black glass. We could do both. Um, I wish I had like red glass. That's the color I really need. We've got purple. We've got rose gold. Um, I'm trying to think what else would look cool on there. Oh yeah, we do have our glitter hearts. But because it's Choco Cherry, you may not want hearts in it. small black I love the small black glass too let me show you the hearts and you can figure out if you want to put them on or not basically some of the hearts are filled in and then some of the hearts are not filled in if that makes sense It's kind of like they cut the heart out in the middle and then they left the little hearts um, outside of it. I don't know. Um, I use a resin spray to steal my paintings. And it just makes it nice and glossy and it also will protect the painting and extend the life of the painting as well.
Okay, no on the hearts, but the copper chunks. Did you want to do like the copper flakes or because I have copper flakes. I have copper glitter, but I also have these smaller. I have this smaller rose gold. That's as close as I have to the car copper in the small pieces. But I don't know. Ooh, nice flakes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> blame autocorrect. It's autocorrect's fault. And where are you thinking you want to put um, these guys? Hmm. Like, where would we put it? I'm boring. I always want to put the glass on the same color. See, Teresa? That's what I like to do, too. Okay, so you want to do the black across the black. All right. I like that idea. And I'm assuming that you want it on this part too, at least around it. Or do we want to leave that part alone? Awesome. Yeah, I like it. There's even a little bit right here, so I'm just going to put a little bit right there, too. Yeah, we're going to do a close-up uh, view of it. Well, I guess we should do a close-up on the glass. Look how pretty the black glass looks in there. So that's kind of going to make it sparkle, but it's going to look like it's part of the painting. Isn't that neat? Ooh, look at that cell. That's a cool looking cell. And then you can see there's still some in here. And then also there. And then we also did put it in this side black area too. So it'll have some nice shine to it. Yeah, I really love that. So you guys are thinking, hmm. Should the copper be on the darker red? I think that would probably be pretty cool. That's where I would put it, I think. Like, you know, there's like a patch down here. And then there's a patch here. So it does that balance thing too, right? 
that balance thing. Okay, so I'm just shredding up some copper flakes. I don't want them to be chunky. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do this bottom area first. This looks really, really pretty on there. These foil flakes are just kind of seamlessly falling into place. Okay, so we're gonna get some more foil flakes. Grind these little suckers up. And we're gonna get our top part. Oh, I wish we had gifts in here. That would be so fun. Oh, okay, and if you want it a little chunkier, let me know. And if you guys, I always just tend to like automatically just break the break it up into smaller pieces. But if you guys want bigger pieces of foil, feel free just to let me know. I guess my instinct is always to kind of like, you know, just get them a little, get them to be a little bit more manageable. Yeah, I wish we had gifts. <laughs> exactly, Cheryl Bix will be like, oh my god, stop putting the big chunks in there, that's too much. And you know what, she'd probably be right, those chunks are, they do kind of, I don't know, it depends on what kind of painting it is, I guess. I feel like it would work well on some paintings, and other paintings, maybe you want smaller ones. Maybe with a bigger canvas too, you know. But it's just really about what you like and what your personal taste is. And everybody's different. Everybody likes different stuff. This looks really cool in there, though. I love the way this looks. You guys have really... I'm going to zoom you guys in after I'm done putting these on here. And then we're going to decide if we have enough of them. And you can really see like how cool they look against this color. Oh, that's awesome, beautiful habit. Yeah, no, I like the feedback just because I get kind of tend to get stuck in my um, comfort zone as far as colors and things like that. Look at that copper. And so usually everybody has come up with some really great color schemes. And it's really cool to, uh, to try them all, you know. See how many different color color combos we can come up with. So it's pretty that part's really cool though. Check it out. Look at that copper. I like to I mean I do paintings by myself sometimes too, but um I don't know, it's like I don't know, it's kind of fun when it's a process. Definitely. It's always fun with more people. It's almost like one of those little painting classes or painting things you do with your friends. 
Yeah, I love the flakes, especially right here in this part right here. It, they look really, really good against that color. The copper against that color looks amazing. The darker red looks really cool. Did I get enough flakes on there, Teresa? Do you feel like there are enough flakes on this for you? Isn't that pretty? And look at all the cells. And then that part's gonna be really neat too. And then, of course, once it is done, um, you know, coming in, the foil like will definitely blend into the painting. This foil just kind of melts in. This is foil for uh, resin art. And so it just really just melts right in. Yay, Teresa. And this guy is Choco Cherry. Um, yes, I write the name on the back of the painting. But um, there are people that sometimes give them as gifts or they have to use them as a display somewhere and they don't want a name on them. So if somebody doesn't want a name or anything like that, that's totally fine too. This is a totally, um, this is pretty much a unique work of art and it's personalized to what your taste is. So we can write something on it. We can not write something on it. We can add, um, we can add embellishments or we can leave it as is. It's pretty much whatever you want to do. All right, so let me put this guy to dry. I'm really happy with how this came out. This is amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's awesome, beautiful habit. Um, I don't do it very often because I tend to make a mess and I hate washing the molds. I just hate washing them. Awesome. Oh, well, that saves a lot of time because then you don't have to wash the molds. I've done some stuff with or without molds. I just, for me, I tend to make a mess with it. So I bet you're a much neater person, though. For me, it's like very difficult. <laughs> End up getting it all over myself. Especially the resin. That stuff does not come off. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Oh, now we're on our taco one. All right, guys. So now we are on our taco. We're on our taco theme painting. So now we have to come up with taco colors. Let's talk about it then. Oh my gosh. I love what you did there, Taj. Oh, me too. I've got a mess all over the place. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. <laughs> that part, definitely true. Oh, Mandy's eating tacos. Okay, so I don't know what colors we want. I feel like we want red. That's the only color I can think of. That is true. That means you're creating. Let's give them something to talk about. Oh my God. That's so clever. I love that. Okay. I'm going to start getting some of these colors out.
We have our emerald green back. I'm so happy, guys. I've missed this one so much. We hadn't had this for like three weeks or something. It feels like an eternity. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been way too long. Okay. Um, we can we can vote on these in a minute after we get them out. But what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, reds. <clears throat> Yes, tacos are amazing. They are definitely, they should be considered a staple, in my opinion. Well, that's magenta. I'm going to put that one up. I think it needs to be a red, not a magenta. Um, what did we say? Brown. I put the brown in there. Yellow. Yes, see, I feel like there should be a yellow, too. We can always, like I said, we'll we'll vote on these. Let's just kind of get them out and figure out where we're going here. White for sour cream. Why not? Yeah, we're kind of going to look at each color individually after we've kind of thrown some ones out there. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to mix the tan. I think I'm going to mix the cream and the brown to make the shell. No, yeah, Wendy's right. It's not really tan, is it? It's like yellow, right? Isn't it like a corn? Like, isn't it like yellow? Okay, okay. All right, are there any other colors that we, we want to throw in here for consideration before we start looking at these individually? Okay, so we like where we are here. Okay. All right. So, basically, um, oh, yeah, brown is if you have beef or steak. So, brown would be for the beef. Okay, so, all right. So, how, let's tackle the shell first. So, the shell, we should mix the cream and the brown together to make the shell, I feel like. So, let me do that really quick. Or no, that's not the shell. Why am I trying to do that? No, the shell is yellow. I've got deep yellow. We, I got this color again. I found it again today. We could use both yellows, the cheese and this could be the shell. And I could also like put some white or mix something in to make this one like more... I don't know, not as bright, maybe? Okay, yellow and cream. See, okay, so we should, okay, so let's use both of them. So this is gonna be the cheese, and this is gonna be the shell. Okay, and then I'm assuming we're gonna have to have brown for the meat part of the taco. So this is the basic taco, right? Can we kind of agree on that? Okay, so we kind of have that. And then now we need to figure out our toppings. So we definitely want lettuce, right? Okay, so we've got number one, which is light green. Number two, which is like more of a true green, like a sap green. And number three, which is our emerald green, which we finally have again, thank goodness. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of ones. I think you're right on that one. For shizzle. Okay, we'll put you over there. All right, now we have to figure out this situation. So I'm thinking, what, tomatoes? Right? And to me, like, the bright red looks like more of a tomato color than the crimson, right? Okay, I feel like that. So we'll do that. And then, okay, so orange. Carrots. Are you eating carrots on your taco, Cool Kel? Extra cheese. 
Okay, okay, okay. We're getting some mixed feelings about this one. All right, let's let's reevaluate. You know what? I yeah, I really don't think All right, hold on. This may be a fair point. Cholula sauce. Who puts Cholula sauce? Hold on. I don't know. Oh, you know what that looks like? All right, we'll make Cholula using these two. How about that? I feel like if we mix the cinnamon spice and the orange together, we get Cholula sauce. And we'll just add a dash of it, only just a little bit, because you only add a little bit of the Cholula. All right. See, we have given some really, a lot of thought to this, all right? This, we're putting our whole heart and soul. I'm standing right by my fridge. I'm putting my heart and my soul into this painting. Like, I think we are dedicated to getting this right. All right, this is going to look just like Cholulu sauce. Well, we're trying to make our paint look like Cholulu sauce. Let's actually let's add a little bit more of the cinnamon spice. You know what? This is kind of looks like you know the you know when you stir the tacos around in the thing. You know, like the sauce. The sauce can get like kind of orange and spicy. <gasps> oh yes, 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 one hundred percent. Look at that. I think we got pretty close. Yes, Cholula sauce is a hot sauce. It's pretty much the hot sauce, if you ask me. But I'm sure that that's open for debate. Um, okay, and I'm assuming, do we want to do the cream or the white? Or we just want to do tacos? Okay, let me add a little touch. I do think we should add a tiny touch. Okay. Because, yeah, we're definitely using our brown. We're using our burnt umber. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown to the sauce. That looks like Cholula to me. Oh, okay, white for onion and sour cream. Okay, that's where we got it. Okay. Our milky white because milky is dairy. Both? Okay, so onions are white and the sour cream is the milky white. Okay, so this is what we've got going on. We've got our taco, our taco shell. You know what? Let's do it in order of um, toppings. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me add uh, cells to the hot sauce. So we're going to add our cell medium to our hot sauce. And we're going to mix it in. Oh, that's awesome, beautiful habit. You might be a little horrified. Our friend Bex, that's usually in here, but she's taking care of her dog right now, but she's, um, she, uh, was classically trained and she's always getting after us, but honestly, her expertise helps a lot. Okay. We got cells in this guy. Like I always want to learn, you know, I don't ever want to stop learning. I need to learn all the time. And Oh, that's awesome, beautiful habit.
That's true, Isabel. Bex does love unicorns and glitter. They're probably her favorites. I don't know. She likes the flamingos, too, and the bows. Sells to the onions, too. Okay, so the onions are the white. Yeah, she's still taking care of her baby dog. So there's our white. All right. We're going to add our cell medium to this guy. So we got our onions. Okay. And why don't we just stick with the theme of the toppings and we'll do the lighter yellow. Because you guys are wanting to add cells to a yellow. I think let's do the lighter yellow. Because this is our cheese. Okay. So now we've got... Oh, wait. Taco Tuesday. Okay, now we got our toppings. And now let's go ahead and make our taco. We put cells in all of our toppings. So now we're going to... Oh, Angela. <laughs> that is funny. I know, right? Everybody's like, hmm, maybe we should get some tacos. I don't know. Maybe Vincent could stop by the store and get some taco meat. I think that sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> Um, I mean, we can, we can definitely pour it in the shape of a taco. I don't know how well that's going to come out though. We can definitely try it. Um, let's see, let's, let's see. I don't really know how well the paint is going to. All right, let's do a. Canvas her. So this is our taco painting. And I guess, I mean, like the thing is, is that eventually. You know what? I think let's just do a regular pour. Cause I think it's going to be hard to get it to cover the canvas if we do it like that. And it's all kind of going to blend anyway. I don't know. Let me think about this. I mean, um, I mean, we could kind of layer it, but then it would make it more like a ribbon painting, which I guess would be fine. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking this. Let's see. Number two. This is. Poor party. Oh my God. Shut up. Get out of your comfort zone. Taco shape. I mean, you're probably just trolling me anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Taj liked your ideas, but. Taj likes you for some weird reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I guess we can just do a regular pour, but let's actually like try to like layer it like a taco. Let me see. Oh, man. 
is dry, 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 dry today. Oh, yeah. For anybody that doesn't know, that's my husband, Vincent's Voodoo. He just lurks in here and acts all creepy. Okay. I think I'm just going to do a regular pour on this guy just because... I don't know. I think it's all going to blend together anyway. So let's start at the very bottom. Did I already take the tag off of you? Okay. So there's our shell. <laughs> exactly. He is a troll though. It probably would, Susie. There's some definitely different, a lot of different uh, techniques for sure. And here's our meat. It's your taco meat. Okay, so what comes next? We've got our shell. We've got our meat. What goes next? We have cheese, onions, cholulu lettuce, tomatoes, and sour cream. Lettuce. It'll be interesting to see if everybody does their tacos the same way, too. Okay, what comes after lettuce? Tomatoes. Okay. Look at it. It totally looks like a taco, guys. Onions. We have cheese, Cholulu, and sour cream. So we're going to do onions next. The copper is gorgeous. We use the copper all the time, but just for purposes of being on brand, we're going to do this taco painting. But we'll probably have another, I think we have another one where we use the copper. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love that color. Let's see. Cheese. Okay, cheese. Oh, we forgot the guac. Do you guys want to add guac to the top? Stop it. Oh, okay. Everyone's like, add it, add it. <laughs> okay, and then Cholula and then sour cream. I love guac. It's so good. Okay, Cholula. I'm telling you, this is the exact color of Cholula sauce. Buddy, calm down. Taj is like, oh my gosh, it almost happened. <laughs> Taj likes that one. Nova likes that one. All right, just to show you guys. That was pretty on brand of us. Okay. Cholulu, and then sour cream. So now we're going to add the sour cream to our taco. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, well, you're going to do something. Because he's going to be in our show, which, by the way, let me put that up. Make sure all you guys... Make sure you remember this date. We are going to be doing the best show ever. As of yet, it's untitled, but we're going to have a couple different crafters and different things going on. And Vincent is going to be putting some things in the auction as well. I have no idea what he's going to put in there, but he said he would come up with a couple things. So we've got Teresa and Bex and Wendy and I don't know. But be sure to check it out. It's going to be next Wednesday on the 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. All of your wildest dreams will come true. And Beautiful Habit, um, you can also check out our Posh Crafters Guild. And we are all also on IG. A lot of people in here are artists and crafters. So if you want to hook up with us, let me know. We're always looking for uh, fellow creative people. But yeah, check this out. This looks like a taco in a cup. Look at that. Yes, or send me a message or whatever you want to do. I'm eco posh for you on all social media, and I try to check it at least once a day. So, I'm trying to be good about checking it. All right. Let's see what we end up with on this taco painting. I'm a little concerned. It totally looks like queso. So we don't know what's going to happen here. All we know is that this is our um, taco theme painting. So this is our taco painting, and these are the colors we came up with. We found um, colors for the shell, for the lettuce, um, for the Cholulu sauce, for the cheese, everything. Tomatoes. It does kind of look like a mustache. <laughs> I totally see it. And the sour cream. So we use lots of different colors for this one. And this may end up kind of looking like a taco. I have no idea. Yeah, this one was really fun. Yeah, these colors are awesome. Yep, we kind of lost the shell. We'll see if we get any of the shell back in this. Sometimes we lose colors. Sometimes we lose entire colors. You never know what you're going to end up with. These colors kind of do what they want. The shell has cells. That's true. Taco salad? Yes. Yeah, the cream always looks pretty in a painting. I love the cream. Taco salad. And it looks like you can see the shell kind of up here. I'll show you guys. It 
It does kind of look like a taco, though. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I thought more red was going to come out of it, too. There is some coming out of it here. I'll show you guys. But it, like... See, you can see it, but it's underneath kind of the other color. It's underneath, like, the brown meat. Like, you can see the, like, kind of see it there. Like, the red and the yellow, but it's definitely kind of under the meat. All right, so... I would call this one taco salad, just as suggested. ABC taco. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. ABC taco. Taco salad. There's a bird in the bottom. Oh, I see the bird. It almost looks like a duck. A duck beak. Oh my gosh, Space, Taco Space Jam 2000. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, we could use letters with the ABC taco. You're right. Honestly, it kind of looks like a taco. Sort of, in a really abstract way. <laughs> we will make it look like a taco with all the glitter that we possibly can. No, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. It does look a little, I don't know, foresty to me, too. Um, Taco Forest. That's kind of a stupid name, but I'm writing it down anyway. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, definitely. Eco-friendly calmness. Cloudy with a chance of tacos. <laughs> that one's good. That's a good one. That's really cute. It does look like a forest swamp. Ooh, Shrek's swamp. Dreaming of tacos. That's a good one. Taco tornado. Lost in translation. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that one was like really fun to do. I really like doing that one. Taco filled of dreams. Ooh, yes. We should definitely, like, do some more, um, like, themes. You know, like, we should do a Cheeto painting. You know, like, the one guy that did the eyeshadow and the makeup, like, all the junk food colors? If anybody followed that guy back in the day, Skeleton. Um, he used to do all the really cool eyeshadow looks and different things like that. We should do, like nerds and sweet tarts and like i don't know m&ms or yeah we should do a food theme show exactly i'm totally i would i would totally love to do that <clears throat> let me write that down food theme we've painted our feelings we've painted all kinds of stuff i think we should definitely do a food theme that would be awesome so i wrote that down on a post-it Eventually, that'll happen. Yes, spaghetti and meatballs. We'll do that, like, sometime uh, this weekend or next week at the beginning. Um, blueberry pie is blue. Um, in my kitchen, actually. I do this in my kitchen. So, I'm right in the middle of the house. I do have like um, like a storage outside 
And I was thinking about converting that in, but it's so cold outside. I'll, I'll probably, um, I was thinking about doing that in the spring. <clears throat> and I also have this old camper from the 70s. And I was thinking about maybe either, I don't know, either doing my storage or doing my camper from the 70s into a paint thing. I thought that would be really fun. I'm in northern Colorado. Probably about 45 minutes away from the Wyoming state line, so it's pretty cold here. Yeah, no, I really want to do it in the 70s camper because I have all my clothes and my Poshmark stuff numbered. I've got it in a storage thing outside. And um, I've got like a shipping area and everything. I'm actually kind of organized out there. So, definitely. Let's do a close-up on this guy. Yes, I can't. I just think it would be cool to, do, to convert the camper because I do kind of use my storage shed. Um, for all my stuff on posh, I have like storage bins in there and I have them numbered. And so I like to, uh, I don't know. I'd probably like to keep it like that and do the camper, but I'm ready for spring. <laughs> I don't want, I'm tired of winter because then I can be outside doing fun stuff like that. But Ooh, look at that. So this one's kind of cool. This one was definitely fun, fun to do. Yeah, the cells are awesome in this. Oh, it's pretty cool to live in the sticks. Middle of nowhere? That would be really nice. I live in a small town, but I think I'd like to live in, out in the sticks. Oh, it does kind of look like fall. Me too, Dotty Dot. Our winter hits really bad in like February, March. So we hadn't even gotten to that part yet. So I'm just like, oh, come on. At least we're halfway through January. The days are starting to get longer, right? So um, no, Blue Sky. We're actually about to auction this guy off now. We've got some good names for it. And this is our taco theme painting. So let me see. Let me go ahead and get this guy started. Um, this is painting number two. And this is 11 by 14 in size. And that's what that guy looks like. That was our taco theme painting. That one was a fun one to do. We've got meat, we've got cheese, we've got Cholulu sauce. We've got all the toppings on the taco. So, but like I said, this has also got kind of a forest theme too, I feel like. You know, because of the brown and the green. I feel like this could be a forest as well. So lots of different things going on in this one. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to do a food theme again. I really like the idea of us doing that. So I wrote it down. Like I said, we'll probably do it this weekend or maybe the beginning of next week. So, and congratulations to Mrs. Turner. You are the father. So now you get to name your painting. And then we'll figure out if we want to add anything to this guy. So let's see. These are the names, <clears throat> the names that were suggested. ABC Taco, Taco Salad, Taco Space Jam 2000, Taco Forest, Cloudy with a Chance of Tacos, Shrek Swamp, Dreaming of Tacos, Taco Tornado, Lost in Translation, and Taco Field of Dreams. So... Yeah, and this is a fun one, too, because this one is like, it had meaning. Like, we put our heart and soul into this one. Oh, my God, that is so funny. <laughs> you could give, you could give him the painting with some taco, with a taco dinner. That would be even better. Oh, snap, Taco Crunch. Oh, my God. I love that. You always have cool names, though. Oh, snap, Taco Crunch. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. So how can we decorate this? Because this is going to be this is going to be a good one to decorate, too. And you always have some really good decorating ideas. You like to make these fun. So let me scoot up on it. 
Yes, we have to accessorize the taco painting now. So, um, I'm trying to think what I have that looks like... Okay, some red. <clears throat> so let's see, I do have... Let me pull out my reds. So I have bigger red glitter too that's not powdered. You know, like just the standard glitter. Um, and so that would be like more of like a bigger red piece that I have. And of course I have uh, powdered glitter in red too. I've got plenty of that. Um, you know, like more powdered. Or we could do both glitters. Oh yeah, green glass maybe. You could do green glass maybe for the lettuce. We've got that emerald green glass. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got green glitter. And we could like kind of make a glitter, maybe if you want to mix like the big glitter and the little glitter together. Give it some layers. Um, I'm looking through my fun glitter too to see what might work. Um... Let me see. Yeah, the biggest red, the glitter that I have that is chunky is, I don't think it's in any of those colors. I don't think I have any red chunky. Okay. All right, so we're thinking we want to do maybe a little bit of green glass for lettuce, some gold glass, maybe for like the sprinkle on the taco shell. Um, I feel like, and then I don't know, like the red, you may want to mix, like, I don't know why I'm thinking like bigger and smaller pieces, but you may want to mix something like, you know, like mix them together. Oh, swiping motion of the larger glitter. Gotcha. Okay, and where are you thinking for the red glitter? Or for all the stuff? Like, kind of like... And yeah, I definitely have gold, too, if anybody needs gold. I've got every single color. Um... Okay, gotcha. So maybe like across the red? I don't know if you want red on red. Okay, I'm trying to think like how to make it like. All right, I added just a little cause I don't know how much we want to add. So let's take a close up look. Cause I don't want to get too carried away with it. I don't know. I kind of put it where you can barely see it, but I don't know. We may need a little more. See, it's kind of like, I mean, it's definitely on there. I don't know. What do you think? Cause I'm trying not to get it too, too much. Let me zoom in on it. It's definitely in there. It's just, um, conservative glitter. Because I don't know how much we want to do since it's a manly man painting man painting. Um, okay, let's do another pass through it just to like, at least so you can see it. Okay, that's perfect. I think I think that's not too much, but you can see it now. That way you can see it, but you can't like necessarily, it's not like, hey, I'm covered in glitter everywhere. Okay, and then the next reddish orange streak. Oh, do you want the, um, do you want on top of it? So do you want the uh, red glitter in that too?
Okay, so like carry it out through here. Over the brown. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to add a little bit of red through there too. And like I said, I'm trying to like get it to where you can see it, but it's not like, bam, this is a painting covered in glitter. Yeah, I really like the red glitter. It looks like it goes there, but it doesn't look crazy in there. Okay, good. I'm trying to make sure we get the right amount of glitter on it. Because we want to make sure you can see it, but you can't, like, see it, see it. If that, I think I know exactly what we're trying to do here. Okay, now what else do we need? I feel like we needed, okay, we have gold glass, and we also have, what else? Uh, green glass? Exactly. Just a little bit of sparkle. Okay, and do you want them mixed together or do you want them kind of like put in different places on here? Because we can put one over here, one over here. Okay, so let's see. We're trying to get the vision complete here. Um, let me think. I honestly, because these green pieces of glass are like a little bit bigger than the littler pieces of glass. I would almost put these on the green on green to make it look like lettuce. Like I would definitely wanna put some right in here on this area. If you guys, whatever you guys think about that. I think it would look cool there. Just because it'll go with the green, but it'll stand out from the green too. And I think it would totally look like lettuce. Um, okay. And then let me put that there. And then if anybody has any suggestions about the gold glass. Yeah, I think it works really well on the green for sure. The green on green this time. Cause there's not a lot of green. I mean, there is, but there isn't, if that makes sense. I love that this is a taco theme painting. This painting is the most fun. This painting is so fun. Um, let's see. And you know, it really has like meaning too, especially if you're a big taco fan. Like, it's pretty cool. Yes, the food themes are gonna be fun. Gold glass um, of red for cheese. Oh, oh, right here. That's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Callie. Yeah, we're just trying to give, everyone gave a couple suggestions. We're just trying to think, I don't know, the green looks really cool in the lettuce. And then we were thinking like maybe... I don't know, maybe you want to put the gold on the cheese? I don't know, it feels like this is cheese. I don't know why, but it feels like this is the cheese section. <laughs> I don't know why. This to me, I don't know, this is awesome. You know what other vibes I get from this? I kind of get like uh, cheeseburger vibes too. Could we also be cheeseburger? If you think about what's used in a taco and what's used in a cheeseburger, I bet the colors would be, um, it would use a lot of the same colors. I love that. Yeah, see, I think that, I think that's true. And then there's your glass, gold glass on your cheese. Mm -hmm. 
And then the bigger glass looks cool because it looks like lettuce. Yeah, the glass looks awesome. Like this totally looks like a taco salad, I feel like. Yeah, it does kind of look like a cheeseburger. I feel like they're similar colors, honestly. What do you guys think? What do you think, Mrs. Turner? Does anyone else have any suggestions for Kelly? I don't know. I'm like, hmm. I like the glitter. I like the glass. Does it need any other glitter? Or any flakes, perhaps? Have we been remiss in our flake usage tonight? I don't know. We did use some flakes on the other one. Let me think. I think that's pretty good, honestly. I can't think of anything else that would make it look like more of a taco. Because we don't want to get carried away on the glitter. I'm trying to think what else. I know, I need to get some red glass. They don't have any at my Michaels here, but I need to, I'm going to start going to all the Michaels in my area. Next time I'm going to a different one. I went to one in Greeley, which is like maybe about 30, 45 minutes away from me today. And I got some more paints. They had the emerald green. They had a lot of stuff we were out of. So, but yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah, I know red glass would be really cool. Yeah, well, I don't know if we could get the shape of a taco. If you think you could do that, you are, feel free. You're welcome to do that. You're welcome to try. But yeah, this was our taco theme. And this is Oh Snap Taco Crunch. And you've got our lettuce. We've got our gold uh, glass on the cheese. Look at that. I really like it. I think this is awesome. This looks like a taco salad for sure. That one was fun. This is a fun painting. So we're going to put this guy on stands. That painting was fun. Except now everybody is hungry. So everyone wants tacos now. Oh my gosh. That's almost an entire dinner, Callie. You've got your king cake, your taco, and you've got a drink. Like you've got an entire, like, you've got a little buffet there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that Sonic painting was really fun too. So is the king cake. You've got a lot of fun ones. Like, see, everybody's hungry now. Everybody's hungry. And the drip pan painting is looking very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so the next one is going to be white, navy, brighter blue, all pearls and metallics. So, thank you. There's my gold paint. What is this? I know it's not ready to pour, but it's gold. Oh, yeah, cool. Thank Bring you. With your flow trolley, you can use it. Thank you. I'll try that. Um, let's see. So I need to mix a little bit of our metallic medium and then let me get our colors together. 
So these are all going to be metallics that we're doing for this one. And I just have to make a little bit. Ah. So there's that really pretty pearl medium that we like so much. So we're just using this metallic. We're going to use this uh, metallic on all of the colors we're mixing in. Isn't that awesome? Look like Edward again tonight. So we're going to make sure we need plenty of, uh, we have plenty of pearl mixing medium here. All right, so we're gonna need, let's see, this one was not really specific. This is white navy and a brighter blue. So let me get all of these guys out. Ooh, ginger beer, that sounds good. Um, let me write that down, Cool Cal. So that's gonna be number two for tomorrow. And that's gonna be um, Caribbean theme. I love it, that'll be pretty. Those always turn out really cool too. So we got that guy written down. Oh wait, let me move these guys over. So there's number one and number two. All right, so we need white. We need navy. And we need metallic, um, all these to be metallics. So let me show you what I have. And then it just says brighter blue. So I'm gonna get these out. White, navy, and brighter blue. Okay, so we've got our white. And so this is what I have that's closest to the colors of navy. So let's figure out which one you guys want to do, because this one is just going to be a three color painting. So we've got our Talo blue. So this is number one. And then this is number two, um, ultramarine. One or two. One or two. What do you guys think is closest to navy? One or two. I feel like this is probably closer to navy too. Okay, so now let's take a look at, oh, good idea, Teresa. All right, let's do that. And then let's see, it just says brighter blue. So I don't know which one you guys think is brighter. <clears throat> All right, so... We've got, this is number one, lake blue. Number two is going to be light blue. This is kind of a Tiffany blue, I feel like. Number three is our cerulean blue. Number four is our turquoise. And number five is our sky blue. And the instructions just say um, bright blue. So we're going to have navy, white, and one of these blues. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we've got it narrowed down to two and five. And it looks like we've got a couple for five, so we'll do that one. Okay. And we're also gonna turn all these colors into metallics. Oh, you guys wanna do the sky blue? <coughs> Sorry. 
excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. A frog in my throat. That's such a stupid saying. I don't know why people say that. Angela's like, why not both? That's normally what we do, but this one I think they just wanted to try three colors. So I'm going to make all of these pearly. In there. Like, did I open that? What is it doing there? Okay, so let's see. White. And we're just going to do kind of like natural. I think we're going to just do natural cells on this one. Oh, Angela had a sandwich. That sounds good. So there's our, and because that blue, our aquamarine, this is a soft acrylic and not a pour paint. I'm going to add a little bit of Floetrol to it to make it flow a little bit better. And then we're going to do our blue. Oh, wow. There's a hole in the bottom of the blue. That's janky. I just bought this paint. Let me tape this up. All right, so there we go. I just taped it up. It's like leaking at the bottom. I was like, I know I didn't open that. Because this is brand new. Let's mess up. Okay. Hopefully this tape doesn't come off. I've just taped the bottom. The bottom's leaking. That's so weird. You did not miss anything, Isabel. We are doing um, our next one, number three, which is white, navy, and a brighter blue. And we are actually going to um, mix these guys together and see what happens. That was not cool. Oh, and these are all metallics. So I'm about to mix these up with our metallic me mixing medium so that we get the desired result. Taj has a great idea. What did Taj say? Put the light blue in the empty bottle of the other blue. Yeah, the other tape's not going to hold. Oh, that's a great idea, Taj. Taj has got the big brain. That's a very smart idea. Oh, I didn't even read the last part. Assistant Vince, we need you. Yep. Yep. I'll find her an empty Isabel. <laughs> Ooh, that is a beautiful metallic navy. Holy moly. Whoa. Look at that color. <gasps> oh, I, I'm in love with this color. Look at this color. That's, You're in love with me. <laughs> I'm in love with this color. That is amazing. Look at that metallic navy. Holy moly. That's freaking gorgeous. Okay, I'm totally, let me write it down on a post-it. Okay, can we please do something with, let's do that for number three tomorrow. I'm writing that down. We got to do this color again. Metallic Navy. We used Aquamarine. Um, and we used uh, White. And we used our Metallic Mixing Medium. Holy, oh my gosh. 
Um, I see that in a lot of future art too. Uh, this has got to be like, I love navy. Navy is one of my absolute favorite colors of blue. Because blue is my favorite color. We've got a lot of uh, blue lovers in here. Oh, I did put some black in it. Oh my gosh, thank you. I was all excited about looking at it. And I was, we used a little bit of black. Okay. I get carried away sometimes. Pretty frequently. Um, okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't with this. I can't. I just want to pour it all over my head and dance around in it. Sounds ridiculous, but it's like, oh, that's gorgeous. So beautiful. That's like the prettiest color I've seen of blue. Wow. Yeah, no, these are great requests tonight. Everybody's got some amazing ideas tonight. Yeah, that's the paint pour on myself. I'll stand in the middle of the canvas and we'll pour it and we'll do a paint pour. <laughs> oh my gosh, though. Who can blame me? Look at it. It's freaking amazing. Okay. Whoa. Check it out. Um. Alright. Let's do a 12 by 12 on this guy. Holy moly. See this one. All right. Now that I'm writing 2023. Uh, really took you 10 days. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait for this. Um, do you guys want to do a party pour? Make it a little more exciting? Pour it in the shape of a taco. No. You can do that. Yes! Woohoo! Party time! Excellent! Woo! Woo! Party pour! Party pour! Can't have a party pour without the sound effects. Okay. <laughs> All the movie references. You can tell which decade I'm from, that's for sure. Ooh, that's a good idea, Isabel. We can definitely spin it. After I cover it, we can spin it. Why wouldn't we is the better question. aquamarine to make it a little darker but there's no black in there it's navy um what how many toys can they have i don't know i got a lot of accessories for the painting <laughs> whoa now we're talking 
Anybody knows that reference? So it looks cool. I'm going to cover the remaining part of this since it looks like it didn't get all of it. I don't know. Like I said, I need to figure out a way to tether the painting to... I need to do some research on that. I want to hook it up to a power tool and spin it around. We'll do that outside when the weather gets nicer. Yeah. I can't wait till the weather gets nicer. We're going to have flame torches and freaking fire bonfires and all kinds of stuff going on in the yard. Yeah, and sun. Yep, sun. Natural light. I love this. This is gorgeous. And I'm not just saying that because it's got the navy in it. But that navy is amazing. Yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous for sure. And you know what's interesting about this one? You would think that we used more colors than what we did. You know, we just ended up using three colors in this guy, which is kind of hard to believe. Um, yes, Isabel, I will definitely uh, mention it before we auction it for sure. I'll announce it a couple times. My best announcer voice. But yeah, isn't this beautiful? OMG. I love it. I love Navy. Yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot more uh, paintings with the Navy color. I don't know which way. I don't know what to do with my hands. Like, I don't know where to put this one. <laughs> I struggle sometimes. You guys are better at this part than I am. Should have left it on the turntable. Oh, yeah, I should have left it on the turntable. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, will you mind writing the names down for me? You can use No, it's kind of hard to see right here. And you guys, let me zoom you in so you can see the cells that are starting to develop in this one. There we go. You guys see that? Yeah, we're definitely, will you put a star by that one for me? Thank you very much. Sorry if I missed any names. I was just told that was my duty. Winter Wave, that's a good one. Definitely getting some aqua feels. Blue Ocean Floor. It's like I get home from work and now I get to use, get to go back to work. Just writing names is hard. I wasn't here for the mixing, so I'm not sure. Teresa says no, we didn't use any cell medium, so I believe Teresa. Yeah, I didn't use any cell medium on that one. Glacial melt. Ocean paradise. 
Ooh, it is very glaciery. Oceana Wars. Look at that beautiful navy color. Bomb cyclone, yeah. And just keep in mind that this is going to all dry. These are all metallics, so these are going to dry as metallics. Ice, ice, baby. And then I really love this nice looking, like, ink looking effect over there. It does kind of look like cracked ice. All I know is I love that navy color. That's really cool. Glacier twist. Glacier twist. Yeah, I'm feeling the glacier. It looks like the the home of that little snow guy, the abominable snowman. Don't mention him, he's scary. <laughs> it's the abominable snowman. That's his home. Bumbles, yes, Bumbles. And Olaf, I bet they both live there. They could both live here, honestly. So mean to put teeth out. I bet they would be great friends. They were fixing him. He's probably like a dog where he's got a bunch of teeth and he won't miss those teeth. Well, is he going to eat ice? Yeah. There's no plants up there to eat. Yeah, he drinks water. Sonic ocean water. Ooh, that's a good one. I used to run out of the room when Bumbles appeared. <laughs> Me too, Jeremy. He's he's scared of him too. That's funny. <laughs> I was as a kid, definitely. You're still scared of bubbles. Stop lying. Maybe. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Let me scoot scoot us back and up. Up and to the left. Yeah, that way we can take a look at it. Back to the left. All right, so this guy is painting number three. And so I'll go ahead and start this guy off. This Isabel, guy. You're going to announce it really loud. For oh, Isabel. wait. Isabel, I'm auctioning it off. I'm sorry. I forgot to yell it out. Okay. <laughs> Isabel's like, I'm sorry. I see, I should have written it on a post it. But yeah, no, this is our cool navy one. Um, and this is, let's see. Um, which colors we used our navy on this guy. So we mixed up um, aquamarine with a little bit of black and pearl for to make this navy. And then we also have a white pearl and we have, um, we used our sky blue in this one as well. And we made all the colors metallic. So that's what that guy looks like. I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the navy in it. Um, <laughs> I like it a lot. I see the corner. abominable snowman getting sucked away. Yeah, I see the abominable snow. <laughs> abominable. abominable. <laughs> you know the thing. <laughs> yeah, <I can't. laughs> but yeah, that was a really cool color theme. Yeah, Isabel. Congratulations to Isabel. Isabel loves her blues. I'm glad you got it there, Isabel. Who doesn't? Honestly, that's the better question. Who doesn't love blue? Yay, I hope you love it. Yep, there's a fun little bin more too. So let me see. We gotta name your painting now. Name it a Baba Rubble. <laughs> Blue's a pretty good color, honestly. Can't blame you there. Blue's a really pretty color. Of course, <laughs> I'm, you know, biased being that blue is my favorite color. Yep. Blues definitely take up the most room on the paint table. That's for sure. I have the most blues more than any other colors of paint. So, but I think it's also because blue has like such an incredible paint range. But okay, so you know you got to name your painting, and we've got wild waves, winter waves, blue ocean floor, glacial melt, ocean paradise, oceana wars, bomb cyclone, ice ice baby. Glacier Twist, and Sonic. Sonic Ocean Water. But you know you can pick your own name, too. I only had to help her read one of my handwriting. That's good. 
Ice, ice, baby. Ooh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, now that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Yep. Next thing you're gonna have me as a freaking DJ having to play songs when paintings are done. Or ice, ice, baby. That's a good one. Okay. I'll definitely get sued. Now, we've got to figure out the next part, which is going to be accessorizing this painting. Yep. Great name there, Isabel, by the way. Yes, very, very good name. Ice, ice, ice. Okay, so let's do some blues. All right, so I think we should do some light blue all over the painting. And we can do the navy, whatever I have that's closest to navy. So many glitters. I wish I had more. <laughs> um, okay, and then white. So let's mix the same color glitter as the ones that we did. And then we'll figure out about the glass. So I'm gonna do the um, the glitter first. And for the glitter, I'm gonna mix basically um, the pearl white color and the navy, what I have that's closest to navy, and then a light blue. No problem, Isabel. So I'm just going to mix these glitters into one glitter, and I'm going to sprinkle that all over the painting. And then we can figure out about glass. So it'll take me a minute anyway to get these guys together. So we've got our glitter in this color, the white what I consider to be navy. And then we've also got our blue. Oh, good idea, Deb. I'm gonna add just a little touch of the laser glitter to give it some texture. I think that would be really nice. And I know Isabel likes that one. That would be perfect. Okay. All right, so now we've got all of our glitters. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix them together. Oh, that would be cool. I just, uh, I'm scared to like blow all over anyone's painting. I don't think I would spit all over it, but I would just, <laughs> I would feel bad if I missed. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't I, you know, because I also like to do paintings where I blow through a straw, but I usually don't do those <coughs> on here just because, I don't know, it's COVID and, you know, some people, you know, I can, I don't blame them. It's kind of weird, but it does look kind of cool. It's a cool effect for sure. It would be cool to like just blow glitter all over the painting and see where it landed. That's a fun thing to do. Anything involving glitter though, right? Pretty fun. So I'm just getting a nice dusting. And I know Isabel likes glitter and she loves accessories. So I'm doing more of a heavy dusting of this painting. And then we're gonna do a close up. Put the glitter in a cheese shaker. Someone suggested one of those flower things. I was like, that's a really good idea. Flower sifter? Okay, we'll do blue glass in the white area. I think that's a great idea. But yeah, check it out. Isn't this lovely? I gave it a star, don't worry. Yeah, he wrote a star. We wrote a star down next to it because I think this is definitely one we want to do again. 100%. But only if this is enough uh, glitter for you, Isabel. I also want some blue, blue glass on the white area. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay, so you're cool with the glitter. I think it's got a nice dusting of glitter for sure. But it doesn't look obnoxious. It looks cool. And I think it's because of all the different types of glitter we put in it. And it's blue on blue. It just looks cool. I love blue. <laughs> this is an awesome uh, color. I love the navy. The navy's so pretty. She, she pretty much does that there again, too. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one meme. I love it. So we're putting some blue glass into the white area, which I think will be really, really cool. And I'm gonna kind of put it in here a little thick. Cause I know Isabel likes glass and I really think this will look nicer if it's more like, if it's thicker on there. This looks like a sapphire gem. This looks awesome. <laughs> Because sometimes I like to make these paintings look like the inside of a geode. You know, like the inside of a... Isn't that what they're called? The geodes? Yep. So it looks like these are all little crystals. And so sometimes I'll kind of pile these up. And I'm going to pile it up just a little bit on this one. Because I feel like... So if you ever guys ever want to do like a thick glass like this on your paintings, let me know. This is usually what I like to do on mine. <laughs> And um, I know Isabel likes the glass too. It looks ends up looking really good. And when I spray the resin on top, it'll uh, seal it all in. But it looks like the inside of like a geode right here. It looks really good. Bling, bling. Yeah, so I just kind of put it really thickly through here. And if you want it anywhere else, let me know. But it looks really, really good with it, I feel like. See that? Jinx, jinx. <laughs> That's because great minds think alike. And everyone in here has great minds. Okay, cool. So I'm glad you like it. I think it'll look awesome on this painting. And did you want to add anything else to this guy? Um, any, let's see, any other flakes or pieces of glass or, let's see, silver foil on the top right light blue. I think that would be really pretty. And then I think it would look nice kind of right here um, by the by the glass, maybe. But we can put it on this part first and reevaluate. All right, so I've got our foil flakes in silver. And I just kind of shredded these a little bit. I'm trying to evenly distribute them as much as possible. The silver looks really great in this light blue, I have to say. Some silver, okay, nice. Yeah, I like the foil too. Good compliment to it. Yeah. You know what time it is? Ice machine time. Time for some ice. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. got our really pretty flakes. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. And did you want to put some more down here, like kind of underneath the, this area? We kind of have them around here too. Okay. I think it'd be nice and balanced. Yeah, that is really pretty. Thanks, Teresa. These colors are nice. I like the metallic navy. In case you can't tell, it's a pretty good one. But we always come up with great ideas. And honestly, adding the black to it, that really made the difference. So that was a great idea. Because I don't think that blue would have looked like this without that black, for sure. 
This is gorgeous. Looking good. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's crazy what we get. Um, what we get like in our heads is that we, you know, our favorite colors and everything. But then sometimes you see something and you're like, you know what? I actually really like that color. But I did put a little bit in this guy too, and it should melt right into the painting. And so that's what it looks like with the flakes. But if you want me to put some more, let me know. But I love the way this has come out. Yes, Isabel, what else do you want to do to this guy? That's really, really pretty. Man, that navy. Love that navy. <laughs> so pretty. Um, yes. So put it on the canvas part on the back where I sign it and write the name. I think that's what you're saying. Okay, so on the canvas on the back, or do you want me to put it on the side? On the side. Put a tiny one on, on the side, or I can like kind of use just a touch of uh, glue and put it on the back part of the canvas. What's the unicorn? <laughs> oh, I'm boy. so glad you asked. Why? Why would you ask? I'm so today? glad you asked. This is our unicorn glitter. Okay, let's see. On the underside of the bottom right. Okay. So do you want to put it... We don't want to put it on the top. It doesn't need it, like, right here. You're thinking, like, on the side. Or, like I said, it can be next to the name. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here on the side. That's awesome. And yes, Blue Sky Magnolia. We went through a phase where we put a unicorn on each painting. We'd put a little unicorn on each painting. So. Because they're so cute. Everybody loves unicorns. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really cool place to put it, too. Kind of like down there. That's awesome. Yay! I love it. So did you want to add anything else to this guy, perhaps? You know what? I kind of feel like, I don't know, this looks kind of, I don't know. I feel like we need to do one line of glass right here, right around here. Okay, just because I feel like it looks a little, I don't know, this is weird, shape's a little weird. Okay. I feel like that is a lot better. Yeah, I feel like that's better too. And then maybe a little bit down here. All right. I just feel like it needs needed a little bit extra. I didn't put a lot more on there, just a little bit right there. Had to. Yeah. I think it looks a lot better like that. So there's that guy. It ended up really, really cute. I just love that color. Yay, I'm so glad that you love it. I love it too. I really do. And I think this goes perfectly with the theme you're trying to do. And with the other paintings for sure. So... Yay! And we've got our little unicorn on there. Nice, Isabel. I hope you love it. I think it's going to look great in your house.
Awesome, that color is so cool. Wow. I love that color. We are definitely doing that color again. And we have definitely had a variety of colors. And I'll bundle that with your other painting too. So that way they can go together. And then there's a little bit of our leftover paint here. All right, so number four is gonna be just red and white. So that'll be interesting. Um, the number five will be red, white, and pink. <clears throat> so I'm thinking since we're doing red and white, we probably want to do something more fun. And I think we're going to use the pour cup. And we're just going to layer the red and white in it. And, and um, we're going to do heart shapes on it. So we're going to use our pour cup and we're going to pour it in the shape of a heart. Now it probably won't end up like that, but it'll just be fun to pour it. And let's see, it just says red and white. So I'm wondering if you guys want to try to pick a couple of other, um, if you want to pick like a couple of other or a couple of reds. Because we've got our white. It just says red and white. So we could use more than one red if we want to. Hey, European shopper. Happy Tuesday. So well, we probably just want to use three of them. I mean, three paints. So we'll probably just want to use two of the reds. Um... And then we'll just layer the three colors up and down. So these are our uh, choices for red. So let's pick two of these guys. We've got our bright red. We've got our magenta. And we've got our crimson. So let's pick um, two of them. So the bright red is going to be number one. Number two is magenta. Number three is crimson. So we're definitely liking the crimson. Okay, and then you guys are liking the magenta. Okay. This is going to be awesome. I'm excited for this one. All right, so we're gonna be layering these colors together. Okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys wanna do like a crimson, a pearl crimson, and a regular crimson? That might be kind of fun. And we should probably make the white um, a pearl white. I love it. Aren't we the creative ones? All right, so pearl, and then we're gonna need pearl. We're doing gonna do a pearl version. So it's probably gonna make it a little bit lighter color of crimson because we're mixing it with a pearl medium. It's not really supposed to have a quote unquote color, but I notice it does tend to lighten it a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, we've done a couple of um, red, white, and black ones. This is mostly just to do the red and white. But I agree. I like the black as an axe or a kind of a darker contrast color. I think it's pretty nice. 
I like metallic black too. I think metallic black's pretty. All right, so there's our white. Oh, add black in the pearl crimson. Oh yeah, thank you. That's a great idea. Let's see how it looks and see, see what we end up with here. our metallic with our red and see how much it changes the color. So that's what it looks like metallic. Do you guys want to add a touch of black to this one? Just a little touch? Okay. This is kind of a burnt red, but I like the color of it. I think it's pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. That's a nice metallic like wine color. too much black but that's okay because I like the color that's a pretty color that's almost like a cherry coke color and plus it's metallic which we love metallics okay so now we've got that guy so let me get our canvas here <clears throat> so we're gonna be doing a 12 by 12 on this guy and we're gonna pour it in the shape of a heart now, like I said, it's probably not going to end up looking like a heart shape, but it'll be fun just to pour it like that. Yes, very much wine vibes. This is very much a wine color. So check it out. Got all the colors in there. All right, let's do a little heart. All right, Now I'm just kind of filling it in. Like I said, it's probably not going to end up looking too much like a heart. We do have a heart um, we can pour through if we want to, though. All right. 
Oh yeah, that's true. Heart glitter. Dexter vibes. <laughs> This is pretty cool, though. I always like the effect of the layering. The layering always ends up looking really cool. Anytime we use the cup, we get all these different layers, and it always ends up looking amazing, I feel like. And don't forget, guys, we are having a an extravaganza on next Wednesday, the 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm going to be selling some different things. Trace is going to be selling some things. Wendy's going to be selling some things. Bex is going to be selling some things. And then my husband is going to be selling some things, too, which I'm almost scared to find out what he's going to come up with. But, um... So it'll be really fun. Wow, this is really lovely. I love this. Yeah, the dark crimson was excellent. I'm kind of glad it came out a little bit darker than I was trying for. Because it really, really, I don't know, it looks cool. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know where I should, like, which way should this go? I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, it does kind of look like a rose. All right. I'm going to I'm going to um put it like this. Is it that way? Did you mean that way? Okay. It does kind of look like a rose. There we go. Now we're balanced. That looks awesome. I love that. I absolutely love that. That is amazing. And you know what? You probably could do the heart glitter in it if you wanted to. Nobody feel pressured to use the heart glitter, but if you wanted to, this would be one that you could probably use it on. It would look cool. Um, oh, that's a good one. Bloody Valentine. Let me make sure I get all these. Oh, a clown face. I guess it's gone. Eat your heart out. It does look like a rose. Oh, I'm a big fan of the reds. Bloody Valentine is a really good one. Rose, that's a good one. Carnation. I'm gonna write down red carnation. Ooh, a rose by any other name. Heart murmur. <laughs> Heart murmur. Ribeye, party of one. <laughs> That's cute. That is really cute. Colonoscopy. We had to suggest it. Bex didn't hear, so we had to go ahead and put it out there. I was gonna say that for a taco one, but I thought you'd get offended. It looked, but it looked like a taco to me. It also looked like a cheeseburger to me, though. Yeah. Cinnamon ribbon candy. Yeah, the taco. That's a fun painting. Rosebud. Big red. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. You guys remember Big Red? Do they still yeah. sell Big Red? Melted Heart. Big red. Surely they still sell, sell Big Red. Hmm. They do. It must be pretty niche. I haven't seen it in a store in a long time. I, hadn't, I feel like I hadn't seen it anywhere. So it's like a squirt. Some other ones. Messy Love. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Tida Love. That's a good one. Bleeding Heart, of course. 
Oh yeah, that's a really good one. Bleeding heart. We should probably do a close up on this guy. I just love the way this came out. We got some nice insect wing, natural cells. Yeah, always insect wings somewhere. But they do look like insect wings. <laughs> Intestines. <laughs> <laughs> You could definitely take this a medical route. Yeah, that's one route you could go. Thanks, Blue Sky. Yeah, that really, that darker color really did wonders for this. I'm so glad that we didn't just do the two colors. I'm glad we did, added that one because it really makes it blend so pretty. And then there's the part in the middle that kind of looks like the rose. That is nice. Yes, we already have colonoscopy down on the list. Since Bex can't be here to suggest it, we have to make sure that we cover that ground. But yeah, I absolutely love this one. This is so pretty. So let me write down what we actually did on this one. We used crimson, crimson, black, Metallic mixing medium. And then we use pearl white. Blood vessel war. That's a good one. Ooh, that's cute. Love in my veins. I love that. That's a good one. Yeah, this is awesome. I've got to say, I really like the way this turned out. If you turn it 180. Oh, it does look like a real life heart. It almost looks like a body, you know, like a person. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've got to say, I really like this one. Let's see, which guy are we? This is number four. <laughs> With your head turned. Don't get a crick in your neck. Those are painful, guys. Don't do that. It's It takes days to get the crick out of your neck. All right, so let's see. I'll go ahead and start that guy off. That is a 12 by 12 painting. So nice 12 by 12. And we've got our crimson and then we've got our pearl color and then our pearl white, I should say. And then for the darker red, we mixed crimson with a little bit of black and with our metallic mixing medium. So this one's really nice. Um, so this was supposed to be a red and white theme painting. And I think we definitely did that. Um, I love the way this one looks. So congratulations to Mandy. Mandy, you are the father. You are the father, Mandy. So let me scoot you up. And we've got some really great name suggestions on this one for sure. So let me scoot you up so you can look into your painting. Oh, you already know. My Bloody Valentine. Yes, that's a great one. My Bloody Valentine. I love it. Very accurate, of course, as well. Oh, that's too cool. So it has some meaning for you, too. That's awesome. Yay, congratulations. You are the father. So now you get to decide if you want to decorate this puppy or not. Oh, I like what it's doing down here, too. Check it out. Look at all of our cells. Some cool cell action down there. I don't know. You could kind of go any kind of way with this. This is also really pretty by itself. Um, but if you had wanted to add anything to it, I think it would look really nice with some accessories. 
Awesome. Okay, so do you want to, um, I have black glass in two sizes. And sometimes it looks nice with both, um, both, but it's really up to you. Oh, yeah, you want me to do a geode? Okay, if we're going to do a geode, then we're going to need the small and the large glass. Okay. So what do you guys think for the geode? Let's get some good opinions in here. And we can also do like, do it in two different places if you want to do some, uh, if you feel like it needs some balance. I do too. I really do too. And I showed you guys my resin painting, right? Here it is. And I did this one with resin. There's also glitter in it if you look really carefully. But this one is resin, so it's not paint. But this is my geode. I used that platinum glitter in it. And then I also used um, like some bigger chunks of glass and smaller chunks. So, okay. So you kind of like it unbalanced. Sun and Sea is thinking lower right side. Okay. So we may not have it balanced. That's totally fine too. Um, hmm. Like the red V. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. Like maybe through here. Or we could do... Okay, so you like that? Okay, I kind of think that'd be cool too. So I'm going to start out with the, um, with the bigger pieces. And then we're going to work our way in. And I'm probably going to end up using some black glitter on this too. To do the geode effect, I like to do the bigger um, pieces of glass and then do the smaller pieces of glass and then also add some glitter into it to really give it some shine. Basically, we're just kind of starting to build the base of the uh, geode type situation. All right, and then we're going to put our smaller pieces of black glass in here. And I think this looks really, really nice. This is a great effect. Awesome. I'm glad that you like it. And so I've added the small pieces and then I'm going to add some glitter, black glitter on top of this. And it just gives it that extra geode type shine. But you see the combination. Oh, it is V for Valentine's. That's really cool. I like it. And see when we pile it up like that, it ends up looking really cool. All right. So let me add a little bit of black glitter and I'm just going to add it kind of on top of where I've already put it. So it just makes it look like it has like a nice shine on it. That is clever. And so see, we've got all these three different sizes. We've got these three, you know, cause I consider the glitter to be like, kind of like, you know, it's not glass, but you see how we layered the different sizes on. 
and it just ends up looking really cool. And then the top just really makes the glass like really extra sparkle. And so this is how I like to layer my glass when I put the glass on my paintings is I'll start off with the like a bigger um, piece of glass and then kind of a medium piece or middle, you know, smaller piece. And then we'll add the uh, glitter on top of it. And I feel like it just is a really great effect. So now you can see what it looks like with the glitter. And see how it just makes the glass more sparkly? It looks really cool. So that's one of my favorite things to do with a painting. And so, and it's just kind of in the middle, kind of random. So... I really, really love that. And then if you want to put any anywhere else, let me know, because I'm not sure how you feel about wanting this anywhere else, but I love the effect. Yeah, thanks, Cheryl. I think I think it's kind of cool. It makes a painting look uh, pretty cool. Awesome. I'm so glad you love it. This one, it came out amazing. I love it. So I hope that you enjoy this one. And then I'll also hold this up for you guys to see it one more time. That way I can kind of move it in the light a little bit. It's got a nice thick layer to it. So I really love that effect. So I hope that you love this one, Mandy. amazing paintings tonight. They all look great. I hope that you love it. We've done some really cool ones for sure. All right. And our canvas is looking really interesting. Oh, it does. It totally does right here. That's awesome. All right, so <clears throat> let's see what we got going on next here. All right, number five is going to be red, white, and pink. So obviously we have a lot of those colors. Let's pick out our colors here. Wait, that's not white. And I think we probably want to make the white a pearl white. And then let's see, pink. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited about this one. Pink. I don't know, I guess this could kind of be considered a pink. And let's see, I guess that could kind of be considered a pink too. Let me check and see if I have any. Okay, good. I have more of that one if we run out. Okay. All right. I think we got it here. Awesome. All right. So yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. All right. So now we are going to figure out what we're doing for this one. So this is basically just red, white, and pink. So now we need to vote on which ones we want to use, unless we want to use all of them. So, oh, that would be pretty. We could totally do that as a flower if you guys want. All right. So let's figure out what we want to do with this. So as far as reds, um, which reds? Because we're doing red, white, and pink. 
So white is for certain. We already know we're doing the white color. And then the next is going to be the reds. And if you guys just want to use all these colors, that's totally fine too. We can always just use them all. All right, so let's see. I've got crimson, number one. Number two is bright red. Number three is magenta. I like the red they made for last Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. We can always make that color again, too. That was a really pretty color. So let's see. We'll need the crimson for that for sure. So you want to use the magenta? I know, Teresa, I always pick crimson, too. I really like it. Um, so we're going to do, let's see, we're going to mix our crimson into that other color again. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. Yeah, he just made it so I can see the print better. Read the chat a little easier without me since I have to be out in the trunk for a minute. Okay. Magenta and crimson. Okay, so we'll do magenta and crimson, and then we'll also do um, that one red that we like. So let's see. And where are we? Okay. So I'm going to add metallic to it because we added the metallic. And then we also added a touch of black. Maybe more red. And the last one is going to be, let's see, black, red, white. So we can use this color again on the last one, too, because I have a feeling I kind of made too much of it. So we can always use it on the last one as well. I'm trying to get it as close as I can. Oh, there we go. Nice. That is really, really pretty. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty, especially with the metallic. I think the metallic vibes look great with that. And we'll probably go ahead and use this on the next one, too. All right. Let's see, so we've got this guy and we're gonna use these three. So we're gonna use these three colors and then which of the pinks do we wanna use? So I always consider this a pink. Probably mostly blues, um, but also, uh, hmm, I don't know, a lot of blues. I also do a lot of like pinks and purples. So kind of a lot of different colors, I guess. And then we've got our um, light pink. Yeah, I'm liking that one too. And then we've got rose gold. I think rose gold would look great in this one, personally. Um, and then, okay, what about neon pink? Okay, and then, well, I don't want to use the burgundy because this one is already kind of a wine color. So this is kind of what we ended up with. 
And this is metallic, and I'm going to make the white metallic. So do we want to have a celebration? Or do we want to just do cells in the reds? I feel like we could kind of go either way. Celebration time. Awesome. So let's do a celebration. This color is gorgeous. It's a time for a celebration. Got to keep you colors together. I'm not trying to stay unorganized here. I need to be very organized. Okay, so we got our pearl white, crimson. This looks like, I don't know, this definitely looks Valentine's vibes. Just looking at these cups already, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, a box of chocolates. Mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. That's such a good movie, but that's such a sad movie. I don't know, it depresses me for some reason. And actually, hold on, I need a little bit. I want these to be equal. I'm trying to put equal parts. No, not you. I'm trying to make it be equal parts of everything. Okay, so there's that. So that means I need a little more of you. And then our beautiful rose gold. Yes, let's do a party pour. We may as well just go ahead and live it up. Got to live it up. We love a good party pour. That's a good time right there. All right. Man, I just love that color. Okay. So I'm going to add cell medium to all these guys instead of silicone drops. I'm excited about this one. This one's going to be cool. I can already tell. What are you doing? So we've got cell medium. Um, yes, Sacto Cellar. We usually do about six paintings and then we sell our um, drip pan canvas. And um, I'll take color suggestions from people. Um, and we just kind of all pick the colors and then we decide on the name. It's definitely a collaborative effort. Um, it depends. Like sometimes we do shows where we sell, I sell other people's art or other people's crafts. We've got one coming up on the 18th where I'm going to be selling some other stuff. So we try to mix it up around here. And so I'm just mixing my cell medium into all of our colors. Yes. And I've got it pinned to the chat. So be sure to check it out.
But there are a couple of um, different crafters and artists, and we're going to be doing kind of a joint show together. So if you like art and you want to um, connect and be part of our, because we kind of have a community of crafters, um, you can check out this website or you can send me a message or follow me on Instagram. A lot of us are on Instagram um, if you want to connect. Yeah, we, well, I try my best, you know, like this, I can't really take credit for um, all these good ideas. Like a lot of people come up with the ideas for the paintings and some of them turn out really great. So, and that's where we get the term backseat painters. Because everybody else comes up with the great ideas. Just like backseat drivers were backseat painters. And actually somebody else came up with that one too. Jules came up with that idea. So basically I'm just kind of randomly mixing these guys in here. It just depends. You know, um... You know, paintings, you can only have so many in your house, you know, so not everybody can always buy a painting. I'm always happy to get color suggestions and ideas, and everybody thinks of the names, too. So it's kind of like a collaborative effort. So sometimes the people that pick out the colors want the paintings, and then sometimes somebody else will get it, you know, because they turned out, it's like, hey, I kind of like that one. Maybe I want this painting, or... It's kind of a collaborative effort, if you will. Backseat drivers. <laughs> yeah, backseat drivers, um, it can get, you know, like sometimes people don't agree on colors or anything like that, but everybody's pretty awesome in here, so. We haven't had any issues yet. We haven't had any uh, road rage in here. <laughs> so I'm just opening my canvas. Wow, this plastic's on here really well. Nobody's had any road rage incidents yet, so. And then let's see, this is going to be an 11 by 14. And this is number five. Avoid the down trees. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yes. So this is the drip pan canvas. And I usually auction this off at the end of the show. And so um, that's what this guy is for, in case you're wondering. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. And at the end, we kind of sell it as a piece of abstract art. Because it usually ends up looking pretty interesting at the end. Yeah, we definitely do a couple of different things. Um, I've got a couple different pour cups and everything like that. I'm definitely open to any suggestions of anything that you guys want to pour on. Um, but just to show you, sometimes we'll pour stuff through a strainer. Um, I make flowers. We kind of pour stuff the bottom of a Coke bottle. And then I 3P, uh, 3D print these guys out. And we pour paint over these sometimes. Um, it just depends. We've done a lot of different things. We've, and sometimes the experiment, we do a lot of experimenting. And sometimes all of our experiments don't necessarily work out, but we definitely try. Um, so we've got different types of little things like that. But I am always open for suggestions. And I love you guys' ideas. You guys always have amazing ideas. And we're doing a party pour on this guy. Woohoo! Party poor, party poor. Did you paint your cat? Sounds like you're painting your cat. Party poor. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, I would imagine. Cats are always, uh, cats can be um, kind of honorary sometimes. 
Ooh, cherry Coke vibes. Definitely cherry Coke vibes. Oh my gosh, you're right, Mandy. It is getting wild in here. We are having a celebration and a party for it at one time. What more could you ask for? But yeah, definitely Cherry Coke vibes. I feel this is totally Cherry Coke vibes. Yes, cherry Coke ice cream. <laughs> All the tacos and tequila. Yes, tacos and tequila. That's a good time right there. And they go together, so. Um, yes, this is acrylic pour paint. And I either buy it ready to pour, or I kind of will mix up my own if we're trying to do a color, a certain color. Or I also have, like, just regular liquid acrylic, so I have to kind of cut it with flow trawl or a mixing medium of some sorts. It's too thick, but generally I get the ready to pour kind. Yeah, probably don't want to use oils on your cat. I don't know. Just get this little last corner right here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so check it out. Definitely uh, Cherry Coke vibes. All right, so let's see. It almost looks like a laser or like some kind of solar flare. It looks like there's a solar flare coming out from the sun. Oh, that's true. You could do a pretty cool geode painting with this with like the black glass. That's a really good idea. Excellent idea, Teresa. But honestly, those are the only kind of ideas that Teresa has are good ones. So I'm not really surprised. I really love how we're doing all these red paintings tonight. This is awesome. Okay, so let's see. Let me get that over a little bit. Yeah, this is, these are cool. I really enjoy it because we don't really use a lot of red on here normally. Um, I know Isabel was just asking me what colors do we sell the most of? I definitely can tell you we don't do a lot of reds. And this is definitely, definitely cool to do all these reds tonight. So I've had a lot of fun with this. I think we've all enjoyed our reds. And let me move this over so we can zoom in. We got to take a nice look at it. Is it wrong to suggest Cherry Coke as a name again? It's just like, there's certain colors. Anytime I see them, I'm always like, Cherry Coke, Cherry Coke. But there are a couple cells developing in this one. You can definitely have see a celebration. And also, um, it's kind of like they're almost turning into fireballs. And because we did a celebration, we're going to be having a lot of cells tonight. But to me, it also gives that sun flare vibe because it's got that little thing coming out over there of the circle. So. That's okay, Mandy. Sometimes it's hard to type. Because I don't know, like sometimes, especially when the phone autocorrects you, it's like, you know what, autocorrect? We've had enough from you tonight. Um. 
That is true, Taj. They were all really unique. And I love this like wine red that we made, this metallic wine red. It's so pretty. So. Exactly. Who says the word ducking? Nobody. Like we didn't ask you autocorrect. Stop trying to correct me. Oh, Merlot. Yes. That is a total Merlot color. I like it. Okay, so let me see. Really, the same names could apply to this one. This does look a lot like the other one. Lava, total lava vibes. I would put, okay, so I'm going to suggest solar flare. I feel like it could be a solar flare. Um... Cherry cry. Oh, well. Oh, wow. You guys got some good ones. Wine toss. That's a cute one. I like what you did there. Fire in the sky. Yes. Cherry crush. Yeah, fire in the sky is a good one. That's a good one, cool gal. Um, now I'm thinking that it's not cherry coke anymore. When he's like, just as when he says cherry coke. Cherry coke slushy. Like it more looks like a regular coke now to me. I don't know. But I guess it does have, it still does have that maroon color. So that would probably be a really good one. And Ruby Rainbow. Ooh. I love the name Ruby. Ruby's like so, such a cool name. Um... Spilt Strawberry Soda. That'd be a cool name. And it totally looks like that. I would also suggest um, Strawberry Shortcake. I like that too. Strawberry Shortcake. After Cells. Oh, that's cute. After Cells. I love it. Bloodbath. Definitely a bloodbath. Red Wedding. Ooh, that's cute. It does kind of look like strawberry cake to me, too. That's why I said strawberry shortcake, I feel like. Oh, that's cool, Teresa. Ruby's a cool name. I love the name Ruby. Red Blast from the Past. It's just a cool name. Plus, it's named after a gem. Oh, that's cool. That's your birthstone. It's so pretty. Like, that's such a pretty birthstone. Red blood cells. Oh, raspberry beret. I love that. That is so cute. She won't raspberry beret. Or wait, wasn't it? Is it Raspberry Beret? Isn't that the Prince song? I know. Shortcake and cheesecake. Everyone's thinking about tacos, shortcake, cheesecake. What's going on in here? Okay, good. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, okay, I just sang that out loud before I thought about it. Like, what if it was a fuchsia beret? I couldn't remember. Okay. Yeah, strawberry shortcake. That would be so good. Mmm. She want raspberry beret. I know, everyone's got the munchies tonight. Everybody's like, where's my snack? We're totally going to do a food theme. I think that's going to be so fun. I would love to do a food, uh, food theme. Yeah, strawberry shortcake. Raspberry Beret, Cherry Crush Slushy, Spilt Strawberry Soda. It all sounds good to me. Especially after tacos. A lot of people had tacos tonight. And then some people went to get tacos because tacos sounded so good. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I'll get some snacks. Um... Ooh, strawberry pop. That's a great one. 
Yes, Teresa. Yes, I love it. We need to figure out what snacks we're going to do, too. I'm just going to go and get some colorful things at the store. I'm going to look and see what has some cool colors. And then we'll bring it and we'll try to match them. Strawberry pop. Strawberry margarita. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Totally looks like a strawberry margarita. Frosted strawberry pop tarts. Carrie's prom. Definitely. Definitely Carrie vibes. Strawberry ice cream meltdown. Need another pen. My pen's almost out of ink here. There we go. Can't have that. Okay, so we got our strawberry ice cream meltdown. Strawberry fizz. Ooh, that's a good one. Sangria. That's also a really good one. These are great. And I feel like they're right on point, too. Strawberry Pop-Tarts. You guys are jinxed, jinxed. Fire Bubbles. Sometimes we do have a lot of good name suggestions, because sometimes it just looks like something relatable. You know, sometimes we look at it and it's like, I don't even know what to call this. But then sometimes you see something like this and it's just one of those relatable things where everybody's like, mm-hmm, I know what this looks like. I know what this looks like. Yeah, and every, exactly, everybody's hungry, so they're thinking of all the names. Cherry Sky Strawberry Smash. So this one should be easy to name. We got lots of good ones for that. So I'm going to go ahead and start this guy off. Since we got all the good names. This is number five. So I'm going to go ahead and start that guy off. This is an 11 by 14 um, size canvas. And we used, um, we used our uh, cool like Merlot color, pearl Merlot color. We used our pearl white. We used magenta. And we use crimson. So we use some pretty cool colors in this one. Um, definitely, a, definitely a vibe from this for sure. Lots of cells because we had a celebration. And we also did a party pour. Hot lava. Add those. Hot lava and under the microscope. And congratulations to Ange Bella. You are the father. And so we got a lot of great names for you. Lots of amazing names. So let me scoot you up. And then we can take a look at what you want to name this guy. So I'm going to start reading the names. And you know, of course, you do not have to use these because you know the drill. But I do want to make sure that we get your suggestions um solar flare wine toss fire in the sky cherry crush cherry coke slushy ruby rainbow um spilt strawberry soda strawberry shortcake after cells um blood bath red wedding red blast from the past red blood cells fire bubbles strawberry pop tarts sangria strawberry fizz strawberry ice cream Meltdown, Carrie's Prom, Frosted Strawberry Pop-Tarts, Strawberry Margarita, Raspberry Beret, Strawberry Pop, Cherry Sky, Strawberry Straw, Hot Lava, and Under the Microscope. So we got a couple good ones, and you can always take some of the names and mix them together, too. You know, if you like uh, one name from one thing, one name from the other, you can always mix it up. But there are lots of good ones. If you want me to read them again, let me know. Because I always have to hear stuff a couple times. 
That way, if you kind of figure out what, what's going on with it. Ooh, strawberry solar flare. I love that. That's a good one. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay, so now we get to get to the portion where we are going to figure out the situation with how you want it to look. If you want to add anything to the sky. Okay, now I'm the one messing with the ice machine. Sorry about that. It's like the most annoying noise ever. Oh, cool. Okay, so you want to leave it as is? That's nice. You know, now that I'm looking at it, too, I'm also getting some Mars-type vibes. So, I don't know. There's a lot of different ways this one could go. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you love it. I think it's got some nice color to it. And that Merlot color looks really pretty when it pops out, too. So, congratulations to Angela. You are the father of Strawberry Solar Flare. So I really hope that you love this. And I hope that when you look at it, you feel very happy. Because that's the point of this, is to make you feel happy and to see colors you like and things you like in your house. Oh, awesome. Well, if you ever have any red suggestions, let me know. I'm always trying to figure out a way to use red. Because I don't think we use it enough. Sometimes there are just some colors that I don't really know what to do with. Yay! I'm so glad that you love it and it'll match with your other one. And check it out, guys. The red is starting to dominate this pan. So this one's definitely going to come out really red. So just be aware. I think this one's going to be really strong with red. Um depending on what else we end up with. Okay. Yes, it's definitely got some olive color for sure. So there's no telling how it's going to end up. Um, okay, did we just do something like that? Oh, this one has black. That's how it's different. Okay. All right. So this one, the next one is going to be black, white, red, and pink. So we are using these colors for sure, because I want to use the rest of this one. I don't know. I may save it and do something. I may do something later with that. I really just want to do something with this color. I don't know what, but maybe we'll skip it for this one. Um, red and pink. Okay, so let's figure out which reds and pinks we're going to use. Which one is that? Crimson. So I'm almost out of crimson. I don't know if I have another crimson. I may have to get some crimson, but I probably have enough to do whatever we're doing here. Let's see. Red. Oh, and then pinks. Oh, you are so right. You are so right. This would look gorgeous with a navy. That would look absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to write that down. All right, let's do that. And I may actually add a painting tonight. I usually just do six, but I think we're going to do one more tonight just so I can use this paint. Um, I just love the way that this color looks. And I think the navy, that would be really a fun thing to try with it. Okay. So, as far as this guy goes, um, 
let's get our colors out that we have. All right, so black and white, these are for sure, okay? And then we're gonna pick out our reds and our pinks. All right, so let's pick out our pink first. And we can pick out as many of the pinks as you guys want. We can do one of them, two of them, three of them, or all four of them. So we've got our neon pink, we've got our rose gold, We've got our pink and we've got our light pink. Okay, so you guys are wanting a hot pink. I love it. Trees is like all of them. Okay, let's do hot pink and rose gold. I think that would look cool. Okay, and then which red do we want? Or do you guys want to scrap the red? Are we liking this? It's up to you guys. We can totally scrap the red or we can add one. Okay, it looks like we're liking the one in the middle. Okay. Oh, that's the crimson. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Um, and how do we want to do this? Do you guys want to, I don't know, do we want to pour it through a strainer? Do we want to... Pour it with our heart, a flower. That's a good idea. Oh, you guys want to do a flower painting out of this? Or do you just want to pour it over a flower? We can make a flower because these aren't very many colors. So we could either make use do a flower using these colors or we could use something like this. Yes, I have a heart too. That sounds funny. I have a heart. Okay, that would be a cool flower though. We should totally do it, do a flower out of it. You're just upset because you didn't get any tacos. Actually, while you're sitting there in your trunk, do you think you could log into my show and do a quick ad for number seven? For painting number seven? Just write painting number seven and put the date. Okay, try it. And honestly, like sometimes I have to type it in two times. So you may have to um, type everything in once and then hit add and then it may not go through and just do it again. Okay, um, let's see. So let me grab our canvas. So this guy is gonna be a 12 by 12. This is number six. Okay. Now, did you guys want to, um, did you guys want to put these paints in a cup and then pour the cup? Or did you guys just want to do each color into the heart? We can do pour them all into a cup first, or we can just layer them into the heart. Yep, I know, I need to write the right year. It's driving me nuts. Okay, each color. It takes me forever to remember to write the year. So 
Like, come on now. <coughs> Let me zoom you guys in then if we're going to do it that way. It's true. We are mostly on the same page. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's also really cool when everybody sees the, uh, sees the same thing in a painting. I always think that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's see, what are we doing here? Okay, we've got these guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with some black. And I'm just putting this in the middle because I want the heart to like seal, if that makes sense. All right, so we've got our, we're gonna start off with our black. Wait, let's do the hot pink. I think that'd be a cool effect. All right, and then here is our rose gold. This is gonna be a cool color mix. I already feel it. I can already tell in my bones. All right, and then we'll go ahead and lift this up. Ooh, bleeding heart, that's a good one. this isn't necessarily anytime you pour anything into a shape it's not necessarily going to retain the shape it's more for fun but you know just kind of goes with our theme and this is what we've got all right let me zoom up a little bit all right Yeah, this is really pretty. I do love this color combination. Definitely. This is a fun one. We've done some really cool ones with red. Yeah, there's some amazing cells in this guy. For sure. It almost looks like two different paintings, you know? Yeah, the black and the neon pink look really pretty together. Should probably do a painting like that too. Like I said, it's kind of crazy that this guy looks like two different paintings. Exactly. Split personality. Although we're kind of losing it down here a little bit. I 
Ooh, there's some really cool pink cells coming out in the corner here. Yeah, this one is really, really awesome. I love it. This is a really cool, like, marbled look, I feel like. And keep in mind that this color is the rose gold, so this is going to dry as a metallic. You guys kind of see the rose gold all throughout it? That's going to be awesome looking when it dries. That is really, really cool. I love the effect of this painting. This is amazing. That is so neat. And then let me see what Isabel said. Let me write that down on my posty posty. Um, black, white, light green, aqua, and magenta. Yeah, those colors are really fun. I wrote that down. Ooh, yes, I love those names. I like both of those names. What was his, um, let's see. So that'll be painting number four for tomorrow. And then number five will be Oh, the colors I used with the paw print. So it was kind of like that neon, neon-y green. Or you know what? Maybe we used the pea soup in that one. I want to say we used pea soup. We used pea soup in that one and it turned into a green. It was really pretty. So let me write that down. Awesome. All right, so we'll do that. Um... Ooh, yeah, let's do a galaxy. So number five will be galaxy painting. And then number six will be, what did you say? Black, neon pink, pea soup. Okay. Yeah, the galaxy ones look really, really cool. We can definitely do one for sure. So we'll do number five tomorrow as the galaxy painting. Then, okay, so I got everybody's suggestions written down for tomorrow. Yeah, I really love the galaxy paintings. Those are so fun. Um, Awesome. Oh, let me write down these names because these are awesome names before I lose them here. Yeah, I love the galaxy paintings. They end up looking so cool. And then you can always put stars in them, too. And the moons and the all the different things like that. All right, where's the names? I need to write down the names. Pretty in pink and pink marble. I love those. Okay. Pretty in pink and pink marble. Those are excellent. Okay. Oh, that would look cool as floors in a she shed. It would look really cool. This would make a cool marble. You know? Got a cool corner right there. I love what's happening in that corner. Got all these nice little cells and you got some little cell action up here. Yeah, these cells are cute. I love them. That's definitely an insect wing. And then I really love this corner with the neon pink and the rose gold. That is really nice. That's true, Cool Cow. That's true. I think that would look nice as well. We love our unicorns and our hearts. Actually, I don't think we've used our hearts, but we definitely love our unicorns. Um, 
Red Tides. Yes. Let me think. I don't know. I'm kind of getting um, Valentine's Day in space. I don't know. The rose gold is going to look really cool when it dries, though. You can definitely see it down here at the bottom, especially. It just, like, blends in with that red. It's going to be so pretty. So, let's see. We've got a couple good names for this guy. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. It was easier to name when it was just red and it didn't have the pink in it. Hmm. We used pink marble. Pink marble is pretty good. I don't know. I think we got some pretty good names for this guy so far. But I do like the effect of it. I think this is awesome. So I guess I'll go ahead and auction this guy off. This is number six. So let's go ahead and start this guy off. And this is a 12 by 12 painting. And it's got some real nice colors to it. Like I said, the rose gold's going to be gorgeous when it dries. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that turns out. But um, definitely this would be pretty as tile in a she shed. I think that's awesome. But this one turned out really cool. I like that it has the red and the pink. Um, you could get space vibes from this. You could get marble vibes from this. Um, I don't know. This might look cool with some hearts. This also might look cool with like some gold foil or I don't know, like a pop of gold too. Or you could leave it as is. I think there's really a couple different ways you could go with this guy. Yep, next to our gold Keurig, if anybody remembers our dream kitchen. Oh, the pink sea. That's a good one. Totally does look like a pink sea. We got some good names for this one. And congratulations to Vacation. Vacation, you are the father. So let's take a look and glance, let's glance upon your painting. Let's look upon your painting. All right, so <clears throat> we don't have as many names for this one, but we have a lot of names. If you need, I can read some of the names from the other one, because I feel like they would work for this one too. Pretty in Pink, Pink Marble, Red Tides, Valentine's Day in Space, and Pink Sea. Pretty in Pink, I love it. That's a good name. I love that. Okay, so now we get to decide if you would like to decorate this guy or leave it as is. I really think, honestly, it could go either way, but we could definitely add some stuff to it if you want. Um, and you know our whole spiel. We've got our foil flakes in copper, gold, and silver. We've got our smaller glass pieces. We've got rose gold and we've got purple. Decorate maybe some rose gold foil flakes. Okay, so I don't have rose gold in the foil flakes. I have rose gold in the glass. And I also, the closest I have to rose gold would probably be the copper. But also the gold might look pretty in it too. Like I was saying, like I think a gold accent might be pretty in it. Um, I don't know why we didn't really use any metallics in this except for the rose gold and rose gold. I don't, I mean, I guess it's kind of gold, but I don't know. To me, this rose gold looks more rosy, like more pink. So I don't know. And if you guys have any suggestions for vacation, feel free to put them in the chat. It's always good to have some ideas. Um. Also, I have the pink glass. Pink glass might not look too bad either in it. Let's see. Gold foil flakes. Yeah, I kind of like the gold too. I think I like the gold better than the copper also. I think that looks really pretty with it. I don't know. And what are you thinking about the gold flakes? What do you think the best place to put them would be? Hmm. I don't know. 
you could put them in these areas where it's darker, like kind of this red. You could also put it up here in this uh, white kind of pink area. I feel like this is a good corner. Um, and you've also kind of got this darker area here. Okay, so you're thinking too in the middle in the darker area. So maybe like from here. And then also, do you want to kind of do it, have it go across all the way there? Just anywhere where it's darker or you just want to keep it over here? Okay. So you want to kind of carry it out. I think that would be nice. I think that would be very lovely. I must say... And I also do use the foil flakes sometimes to create that geode look. I do kind of layer the flakes to create a geode look. Let me just show you real fast, kind of just to divert in case anybody ever wants anything like this. So this is a custom order that I did for somebody. And I added some, uh, you can see how I added, like basically I added some gold flakes and I haven't sprayed it down so they're kind of sticking out. But you can see how I kind of did the geode thing here. And I used the bigger pieces of glass. I put the flakes underneath. And then, you know, I just kind of added to make that uh, geode effect by using the flakes. So you can also use flakes to do the geode effect. Just FYI. In case anybody's ever interested in doing that. I don't know why I just thought of that, but. Okay. So I'm going to add these flakes. I've got them kind of shredded to where they're a little bit smaller pieces. But I love the flakes. The foil flakes are really nice. And the way that they melt into the paint is absolutely beautiful. Um, yes, I am crushing the flakes and making them kind of smaller. This is kind of a big piece, though. So we're going to pull you out. Yeah, I try to pull them apart as little as possible because these come out in, like, really big pieces. It's like, no, I don't think they want... Really big pieces on their flakes. So I just kind of shred these guys up. Make them smaller flakes. There's something about gold and red. I don't know what it is, but... There's something magical about it. Okay. Now let's take a look and see if we need to add any more or not. And you can see they're kind of melting into the painting now. And that's a really nice accent there. Like I said, there's something about gold and red that just looks really good. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. And where it's sticking up a little bit, um, as the painting, when the painting dries, I can kind of press the flakes down. So don't worry about it if there's kind of standing up a little bit. But that looks really, really pretty. I think the gold flakes were a nice choice. Do you want to add anything else to this guy? Like maybe some gold glitter or anything like that? Or anything around the flakes? Or do you want more flakes? We can definitely add some more flakes too. Or you want to put anything with them in there? Um, 
you could probably definitely, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And what are you thinking on the black glass? And it's up to you if you want me to layer it or not. You know that I've got the bigger pieces and I've also got the smaller pieces. And if you guys have any suggestions on where to put the black glass, um, okay, and you want to do the small ones. Um, I feel like you could put them in with the gold flakes or maybe up here. Um, or there's also like this little area here. Um, or there's also a couple spots where it's pink that you could kind of put them just in the pink. Um, by the darker areas. So the darker areas below the black spots. So like below the black spots. So like kind of like around here. I don't think it's weird. I think it might look pretty cool. I just want to make sure I get it in the right spot for you. I mean... Like kind of, okay, so like kind of like around here. Do you want it like kind of all the way around it? Or do you want it just like kind of at the bottom? Kind of like around there. Let me see, I've got some black. My black glass here. Okay, like kind of more towards the bottom. I think that'd look cool actually. That looks pretty good there. Um, and just let me know if you want me to add any more to it. I like to start off kind of light and then we can work our way up to the, to the desired amount, but check it out. I think it looks really good there to be quite honest with you. And let's take a look again. Okay, on the left. All right, so the black spots on the left. So it looks like there's some, there's there's this kind of like area right here. So I can kind of like put it under there if you want. Okay, perfect. And then if there's anywhere else, cause there are a couple more little black spots in the painting, I feel like. So if you want it anywhere else, just let me know. But I'm just kind of gonna layer it in here. I think it looks kind of cool. That's a cool effect. Like it almost like, it's almost like a little glass uh, shadow. It almost makes a little glass shadow. Uh, just a little bit more here. Okay. I'm so glad that you love it. I love it too. It looks great where you put it. Did you want to add it anywhere else though? I'm trying to think, do we have any other dark spots in here? These aren't necessarily like the black, black. This is kind of like a darker pink, but they could be there. Um, upper right. Oh, good idea. Like kind of like right through there. Are you talking about this guy? I'm pretty sure you are. I just want to double check before I start putting glass all over it. Awesome. Oh, I love it. That looks really good there. All right. And do you see anywhere else where it needs it? It's almost down here. There's That's kind of like a small black spot. I don't know if you want any there, but there's definitely like just a tiny patch. I know. I love it too. It, it looks really cool. It The glass kind of adds to the effect for sure. Let's look at it real quick. That glass is so pretty. I have to say like probably, I don't know, either the rose gold or the black glass is my favorite. I'm not sure which one. Black glass just looks so cool. I just love the effect of it. But yeah, definitely just like a tiny spot there. And then there's also I'm trying to see if there's any other, any really dark areas. 
Um, we can definitely add a little rose gold glass. Let me kind of hold it above the painting. So maybe you can picture it somewhere. It really does. And it's cool to see what everybody likes to use too. See what everyone comes up with. Cool. Cal likes the rose gold. I don't know. Maybe in the white or... You could also mix it with your flakes. Um, I mean, you could also put it with your black glass too, or you could do like a corner, like, or you could do it down here at the bottom in the pink. Really any way. Because the rose gold really does stand out anywhere. Okay. The upper left. I think it would look good in the upper left, like maybe, okay, so like kind of like right here, around the edge where the white is, that would be kind of cool. I like to do an edge, that's what I did in that other painting, I just did the edge of it. Let me show you guys again what that looks like, the effect of this is really cool. Like, I literally just put it on the edge here. Sometimes it just looks cool on an edge like that. You know, just add a little bit to the little piece on the side, make it interesting type of thing. Yeah, totally. Actually, let me move us this way. There we go. Oh, and let's look at it here, too. If that helps. That way we can kind of do a close-up. And this is like rose gold. So this is going to be your rose gold here. And then it kind of blends into the red. Okay, awesome. Oh, perfect. I like what you did there. We did our rose gold on rose gold. Like I said, sometimes it's cool just to have like a nice little corner, you know, little corner effect. And then a little bit in the red. Gotcha. Yeah, I think you could probably just kind of get this whole area a little bit. Awesome. I love it. It's so beautiful. All right. Did you want to keep it in here? Or did you want to put a little bit on the red right here too? Because it kind of goes out a little to about right here. Really? Oh, and this way. Okay. So you want to do, okay. So you want to do it in the white? Or do you want to carry out the red? Okay, cool. All right, so I'll just kind of pull it out on this little red area. I think that'd be nice. And it's kind of rose gold in here too, so I think it'll be a good blend. I love that. See how it kind of layers across? That's cool. I love it too. I think this looks awesome. There's our rose gold in the rose gold. Ooh, look at the shimmer on that. That's beautiful. And then we kind of pulled it out a little bit that way. And then it kind of goes into the black. And then we've got all this guy going on down here with our flakes. And then we've got these nice little patches of black glass, which I think look really good. And then it all kind of goes together to form this painting. It is really pretty, especially when you see the final effect. I love it. I think that's a great, great decoration job. 
Do you want to add anything else to this guy? Any glitter, any unicorns, any flamingos. We can always put a flamingo on it. Awesome. And this guy, let's see, Pretty in Pink was the name of this one. So congratulations to Vacation. I hope you love it. Definitely really, really pretty. Yay, congratulations. This is awesome. And just in time for Valentine's Day. I am just so proud of us. We have really done some great work here today, guys. Okay, good. You were able to add painting number seven. We normally just do six, but I'm going to do one more tonight because we have extra paint left over. Um, and I want to make sure I use this paint because I love this color too much to throw it out. Isn't that pretty? And this is metallic too, by the way. The shine on this is amazing. I wish you guys could see it. It really doesn't do it justice looking at it in the camera. It's got a lot of pearl in it. Okay, so this is going to be a heck of a drip pan, guys. Check it out. Okay, so let's get our colors together. So we're going to use this, and then we're going to mix up that navy. And then what do you guys think? Should we add another color to it or no? Taj has been digitally kidnapped again. You guys are, the Taj better not kidnap Taj. Taj is an essential part of this chat. We need her backseat painter advice. I swear, that swiping thing has got to be driving everybody nuts. Quite honestly. We're about to lose our minds with it. Okay, let's do that. I think that's an excellent, excellent idea. Oh, good. You wrote to them. Very good. Yeah, I think it's frustrating for a lot of people, quite honestly. Wow, this is gorge. This is absolutely gorge. I used to have an eyeshadow combination I did using these colors. It sounds crazy, but it looked really cool. Oh man, yeah, it's pretty bad. I think we all like, it's bad. That's pretty bad 12 times, but I believe it. I'm surprised it's not more. I always get kicked out of the shows when I try to scroll. Drives me nuts. Just adding a little bit more metallic to this one. All right. Now we're ready to go. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorge. This color is just incredible. And this is a metallic pearl color. Okay, so tonight we're doing an extra painting, Isabel, just because I had some of this uh, left over. And so I really wanted to use it. So we're gonna, um, I mixed up some navy. So we're gonna do a painting number seven tonight. Just that color, I just can't get over it. It's so pretty. 
So we're going to do cream, um, our Merlot color, and our navy. Hmm. I have a little bit of gray. I have an emerald green. I don't know. Do you guys want to add the emerald green to this one? All right, you guys want to do silver? Yeah, I kind of like the blue and the red effect. I almost feel like doing a ribbon pour on this one. I don't know. Like, I, this is, these colors are just so pretty. Let's try it, and then we can always try it again and add the colors to it. And that way we can try it both ways. Because I'd kind of be interested to see how they both turn out. Because I like the idea of the green and the gray too. So let me write that down. We can try that. Let's see. One. Navy. Cream. Green. And gray. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I think I would really like the effect of that too. Oh, wait, let me pour this guy. Um, and how do we want to pour this? Do we want to pour this through a strainer? Do you want me to just pour it onto the canvas directly? Do like circles or do... Um, or we could do it in the four pour cup. We've got four colors. So we could do the four pour cup. And we could ribbon it. Um, or we could do a celebration and just mix them all together. I don't know. You guys want to do the strainer? So I've got pour cup, I've got strainer. Do the spin. How did I do the spin? Oh, I just kind of did it in circles. We could pour it in circles too, if you guys want to do the circles. So let's see, we've got circles, pour cup, doing the ribbon, and then we've got the strainer. So we can really do it either way. So let's see how many we've got. One for strainer, one for pour cup. We could probably, well, I've got too much paint to do a flower, but I would like to do some, uh, I would love to do a flower out of these colors. Circles, ribbon, okay. Let's do the, let's try doing it with the circles. And let me get this guy right here. And let me grab our next canvas. All right, so this is going to be the 11 by 14. Yeah, this is totally going to be a Valentine's Day. We may throw it off a little bit though with our with this one okay I'm so excited about these colors. Um, if you want to come spin, you can. That would probably be helpful. It'll probably take you a minute to get in here.
Yeah, this is pretty cool. I love these colors. And then let's look at them together real quick. Ooh. Look at those colors together. Yeah, I really like this one. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I need to uh, get something to keep it to stay on. And also, too, I'm kind of limited. I can't, like, like, spin it as much as I want anyway because it'll get all over my floor and everything. That's why I can't wait for the warmer weather when we can actually, like, do some stuff outside. It'll give us some good stuff to we can do. <clears throat> Thank you. you Right, exactly, Isabel. And it stays on the floor. Like the joys. Hey, guys. It kind of does. Oh yeah, this one makes us really dizzy. Yep. <laughs> like, oh, seasick, seasick. Mayday, mayday. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty spirally. You're getting very sleepy. <laughs> it does look kind of brown, but honestly, it's really like a maroon color. It just, for some reason, it's looking really brown. Thanks, Isabel. I good do job. have skills. Good job. I have mad skills. Yes, it takes a lot of skills to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I swished it last time. I'm kind of going to swish it again this time, but it still gives us that cool pattern, you know, kind of like those cool layers, like it does when you, um, use the, uh, the pour cups. Yeah. The pour cups. It kind of has that same thing going on. I really love that Navy. I know that. Yep. This is pretty cool. It looks like a fingerprint. I love the cream in this. This looks really cool. This kind of looks like an animal print. Okay, I really like this. This looks like an animal print. Oh, that's cool. Like a blue and maroon tiger. Yeah, no, this <laughs> looks really, really cool. This is definitely a really unique one. <laughs> The chat's like, what in the fresh... <coughs> Just watching it move. Blank is this. Oh my gosh, that color is so sparkly. Hold on, let me see if you guys can see it. <laughs> I can see it. Oh man, the sparkle in that red. Like this whole painting is going to be metallic. OMG. This is definitely a unique look, but I really love it. Oh my gosh, this painting is so sparkly. I wish you guys could see it. I mean, I can show you it, but you guys can't see how sparkly it is. 
Go flow over. OMG. I kind of like it. It gives a little character. Right there. Oh, I love this. This is so different. This is so different and cool. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'd do a smiley face and you suit that. You know what? This is almost like coral reef vibes or something. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe this. You guys, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see how uh metallic this is. Yeah, the metallic is amazing. And it looks like there are a couple cells that are trying to come through here. But man, I wish you guys could see how shiny that is. It kind of picks it up. Okay, you can kind of see it. Look at it. The navy's really shiny too, but... Oh man, see that? You guys see the pearl and the metallic in this? It looks like there's glitter in it almost. Wow. That is so metallic-y. This whole painting is like... Bling, bling. Mm -hmm. And then I really love the little uh, patches of cream in it, too. There aren't that many places where it's a cream color. Yep. Yeah, this Gold is awesome. Shimmer. And I don't know what about this painting makes it so cool, but like... Holy moly. I wish you guys could see the metallic. I know I keep saying that, but this painting looks... You can kind of see it when you get real close like that. It's stunning. Yeah. You can see the little metallic crystals in there. Yeah, it's got so much metallic in it. So much pearl in it. Oh, that's neat. I just absolutely love the way that came out. Mmm. <laughs> Let me see. What would we call it? I don't know what I would call it. Right. All right. Just get this little side here. Oh yeah. I don't know. Let's see. No. No. Those are good in person, not on the camera. Yeah, you can see it really well, but I don't know. I'm trying it. <laughs> camera. Yeah, we're going to start to see that. It is that amazing. Cool. I said I wish you guys could see how you can kind of see the flow like how shimmery that is. Um, all right. I don't even know. Metallic love. Marley, you can't call it Metallica. We'll get sued. Again. <laughs> right. Metallica gets really upset Mermaid over Mermaid Cove. Mermaid Cove. Winter skies. Winter skies. That's a good one. I would call this one wild thing. <laughs> Surf and turf. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Nice, Isabel. That's a good one. Um, I would call it metallic reef. That's amazing. Yeah, I love this one. This one is great. Like, this is so unique. Like, we've never done anything like darker colors together. Yeah. You know, like, we did add the cream, but yeah, really. More colorful, bright color. Uh, usually, we'll just have one dark color, one light color, but everything. But this is like two dark colors, but you can actually see the two colors. So. Wow. Okay, this is really fun. I'm glad we did this color combo. I absolutely love this. All right. So we've got a couple of good names for this guy, and I got to use the rest of my paint, so that's the main thing. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and start this puppy off. This is 11 by 14. The best painting name ever, by the way. Yeah, there's some really great names for this one. But yeah. Painting number seven added by Vincent. Yep. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but no, man, this color is amazing. Merlot metallic. Oh, that's a good one. Merlot metallic. This is definitely unique, um, and I just love the navy. And these are both colors that we made up ourselves. So we're kind of geniuses like that. We're kind of good about we make our own colors. We make our own glitter. We make up our, our own names. Yeah. Like Also an awesome one for somebody to decorate, too, because it's a good backdrop. Yeah, you could do some glass or something on it for sure. Yay, cool, Kelly, you are the father. Congratulations. Congratulations, cool, Cal. Cool, Kel. Kel. Sorry. Uh, Cal. <laughs> I try it with Oh, you. my gosh, you are the father. Look at it. Even when I move the camera, yep. you see it? You see some bling. Oh, I hope you love this one. This is so cool and unique. So let me scoot you up so you can... And yeah, look this, upon it. The paint still settles. You can see a little bit more white opening up too, or the cream. Yeah, there are a couple little cells, but they're really faint. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of cells out of it. Yeah, even though like edges though, is the paint like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let me read you our names, but you know the drill. You don't have to do any of these. You can just um, name it whatever you want. But the suggestions are mesmerizing metallics, metallic love, mermaid love. Or Mermaid Cove, um, Winter Skies, Wild Thing, Surf and Turf, Metallic Reef, and Merlot Mer Metallic. I mean, honestly, you could probably go with any of those and be all right. But you can also name it whatever you would like. Or you could combine some of the names. Yep. Winter Skies, Metallic. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh boy, cool Cal is looking to get Because we don't, no, we don't want to get sued. That's why we added it with the other name. <laughs> she combined the names because she knows what she's doing. Heck yeah. Okay. Winter Skies Metallica. So now we got to decorate this guy. So there's a lot of different ways you could go with this, I'm thinking. And if anybody has any suggestions, feel free to add us in the chat. Suggestions are always helpful. And then let's take a look at what we have and kind of look at it and see if that helps us. Sometimes it helps to see it close to the painting. So we've got our flakes, of course. We've got our silver, gold, and copper. And then we have our small pieces of glass. And we have those in a couple colors. Yes, I will definitely bundle this for you. For sure, because these will both fit into one bundle, no problem. So I will be sure to send you a message after the show's over. Because these will fit your this will fit great together with your other painting. And plus they're the same size. So it's even more perfect. Um, and then let's see. So we've got our rose gold and our purple gold pieces, our smaller gold pieces. And then, of course, we have our smaller uh, pieces of black, and we also have them in gold. And then we also have our glass pieces. We have our smaller glass pieces. Um, well, this is kind of a medium glass pieces. And this is clear slash silver. Okay, you want the rose gold for sure. Okay, so we can go ahead and start with that if you kind of have an idea where you want it to go. Um, you could definitely put it in either kind of the wine color. You could put it in your navy color. You could put it maybe in two corners. However you want to do this guy. The white and the white glass. Gotcha. All right. So where you while you're thinking about where you want the rose gold, I'll go ahead and put... Um, the white in the white glass or the white on white. And I feel like this is kind of like clear glass. I don't know. It's really pretty. I really love to use it. I feel like this uh, goes with any painting. 
to me, I feel like it could be used in pretty much any painting because it's kind of a neutral glass, if that makes sense. It's almost like clear glass, but not clear, but. Look at that. That is really pretty there. And then there is a small patch of white down here. So I'll add that to this little guy right here. Ooh, that's cute. I love this so far. All right, take a look at it and then I'll add the other one, but check it out. Isn't that nice right there? That looks so good. And then we just did a tiny little patch right there too. And now we are going to add our, let's see. Would you mind giving me a charger? Where's the nearest one, do you know? Um, in my, plugged in right by my computer, in my computer room. Let's see. And then the rose gold and the red. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. What a great accent. Oh my gosh, how pretty. I love it. I think that's great. I think it's a great choice on it. Look how pretty that is. Whoo. Um, it was in there the last time I saw it, but. Here? Outside in the plant room. But I don't know if it's still there. Yeah, I love it with the, the wine color. Look how cool that looks. That really, really looks cool. about the blue you know I have the light blue glass we could definitely do that or if you wanted to um or if you didn't want to do glass um because I would kind of put glass on the whole painting and you may not want that um but you definitely could or we could do like a glitter um I can definitely like show you what I've got for glitter in the blue um what All else right. showing sticky notes for a second there I just had to sorry yeah, the laser cut glitter is real nice. That might look kind of cool as a contrast in there for sure. Yeah, I just love it. Cosmic stars and laser. Ooh, there you nice. Go. Okay, and you want to do that in the blue? Talk about brightening the painting up a little bit. Yeah. Like I said, it'd be a great background for sparkly stuff. Yeah, no, it is really nice. There's some good space for adding some stuff for sure. All right, so we've got our rose gold in that area. Yeah, we definitely could do a glitter mixture. We could mix them up for sure. We could definitely do that because we do like making our own glitter here. That is kind of one of our favorite things. Got the skills, the kills. Okay, so you want to add a little bit of a, like, kind of a rust color in there? Let me see. This is probably the closest I have to the brown. This is kind of like a rust color. Okay, so we'll add just a touch of that 
So let me start with, let's see, Cosmic Stars and Laser in the blue. Um, here's my Cosmic. So now we need our stars. Those are always really pretty. And then we've got our Laser Glitter. Okay, awesome. So you wanna add just a touch of the brown to the laser? Just to kind of give you an idea. Kind of blend them a little bit, if you will. Awesome. Okay. We could. Okay, and then I'm also going to add um, some uh, cosmic glitter to the blue part first. Look how pretty that looks with a blue background. It almost looks like a starry night. Yep, I like it. it gives it a good bling. Oh, I think you're right, Isabel. 100%. We all seem to like the same things and have some of the same good ideas. Will you set her? That's his. Okay. That's why I moved. <laughs> Did not hit the painting. That's the only thing. It's kind of hard to put a charger on it when it does that. All right. As long as it doesn't fall in the painting, we're okay. So before I add the other glitter, I'm just putting our cosmic glitter. I'm making sure that I add all the things that Kel wants first. And then I'm going to do the, um, the powdered glitter last. Kind of as a glaze on it, if you will. You know what? This almost looks like uh, some kind of a night sky. Oh, jinx. I just looked up and saw that. That's too funny. <laughs> See, exactly. We would all click. We've all got brilliant minds. And we all think of a lot of the same things. Or what are you? Cortana. <laughs> So I'm basically just adding the cosmic first in the blue areas. And look how pretty this is looking, guys. So we just used our cosmic glitter, which is definitely one of our favorites. A favorite of ours and a favorite of Cool Kells for sure. Definitely my favorite out of all the glitters. And then if that's the favorite, then this would probably be the second favorite is these beautiful stars. Yeah, I like the holographic stars. This looks great. I just love what you've come up with on this one. So I'm kind of just adding the stars to the blue area before I add the glitter that we're doing. This is beautiful. This definitely looks like a night sky. Cause it's kind of dark, you know, it definitely looks like the sky at night. Yeah. Cool Kel totally did this one. Just remember you gotta unplug it if you're going to do a close up. Oh, it's, the cord's holding it down now. So oh, okay. it won't, won't go anywhere. That's fine. I just need a little bit of a charge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this guys. This is beautiful. <laughs> These are some great choices on this one. All right, so all right, so we've got our cosmic, we've got our stars, and so now we're gonna mix our special glitter. Now, did you want this glitter just in the blue area or all over the painting? All right, and so this is our own special combination here of the laser and everything else. So let me mix it up. And this looks really nice. Um, it gives it like just a nice, subtle kind of tying in the blue and the brown together. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to hold this up above and we're going to just kind of sprinkle it. Hey, Ursi, happy Tuesday. Hey, Ursi. We're still at the beginning of the week. We hadn't even made it halfway yet, guys, but we'll get there till we get to our weekend time. We love our weekend time. Yeah. This looks absolutely gorgeous. To me, now this is starting to look more like a night sky than a reef. <laughs> but honestly, this blue laser cut glitter just kind of nails it every time. Nailed it. 
and it also gives it um, some depth too, you know, so it's different colors <laughs> of blue. Of course she does, cool Cal. <laughs> yes, we've got our flamingos. Let me let me show you them. First of all, before I show you the flamingos, how do you feel about this so far? This is amazing. This is definitely nighttime sky. Now we got some stars for sure. Yeah, this looks so good. This looks so good. I love the way that you've decorated this. Okay, so we like it so far. Ooh, that's a good idea. Blind color selection. <laughs> oh, God. No. Yes. Last time you did that, you spilled all the paint. No, I didn't. That would be fun. I'm writing that down. We're totally doing it. That's right up my alley. That's right up my alley. Blind pour. All right. So we're good on the glitter. And so now we just need to look at the flamingos and decide if those are going to go to. So hold the cup and you guys can say directions with their eyes closed. And I'll tell her which way to go. No, that's right up my alley. You know, talk about random. You know, I bet we find some really great stuff. It may turn out to be the best paintings we've ever done. And then there's our little flamingos. Aren't they cute? And it's kind of a light pink um, peach color. They're like that duo thing that when you turn them, they kind of like, um, I don't know. They kind of change color as you turn them. Like kind of a peach and a light pink. Okay, so you like the flamingos. And what are you thinking with the flamingos? Okay, you want to put these guys in the red? All right. And I'm not going to have them all facing the same way. I'm going to kind of put them in so that way they don't... I feel like it'd look weird if they were all facing one way. Anytime I put these in a painting, put the little animals in a painting, I always try to like kind of... And I try to mix it up so that way no matter what place you put the painting. Okay, so you want to keep them down here. Gotcha. And that definitely looks really cool there. Let's see. Okay, so you want to just keep them in this bottom left area. Did you want to add them anywhere else? I'm kind of in our like wine areas here. In the, in the middle, the top. It's kind of like right here, in this one. Okay, awesome. Like I said, I'm kind of putting these randomly, so that way, whatever you turn the painting around, they'll kind of make sense there, whichever way you turn it. It almost looks like the flamingos are hanging out. Now it kind of looks like a hurricane, like the flamingos are like in, caught in a hurricane. <laughs> We're kind of getting hurt. We're kind of getting hurricane vibes. Okay, awesome. And is there anywhere else you wanted to add it in the red? Because we have a couple more little streaks of red, but I don't, I don't know if you, you just kind of want those guys there or anywhere else on here. Okay, so you want them. it's totally what to um, It's totally whatever you want to do. Um, you could probably put some right here. There's enough room to put them here. And then maybe some right here. There's enough room here. And then it kind of thins out and you can't put as much on the red. And I guess these two spots here. So I would say either here, here, or up here. Or we can do all of them. Totally up to you. But then these kind of thin out and the lines get, or it gets too thin to really put them on, to fit them on there. Okay. okay. Do you, you want to do the lightning bolts um, on the blue? Or do you want me to stop with the flamingos and then put the lightning bolts in the rest of the red? 
Okay, so definitely in the bottom. Oh yeah, that tiny little spot right there. That's funny. Yeah, you can kind of see a cream and a... You can tiny see that little white spot there. Okay, so you want to put a little lightning bolt on that guy. All right, so let me get our Harry Potter lightning bolts. We love using our lightning bolts. They're just kind of a nice like silver, like holographic type, type look. All right, and we just put one little single lightning bolt on that guy. That looks pretty cool. Kind of adds to the storm hurricane thing. Okay, so did you want to add any of the lightning bolts anywhere else on this guy? This painting's got some nice shine to it. Okay, blue top left. So kind of in this area. Gotcha. Flamingo hurricane. Yep, pretty much. What was it? Shark is it Sharknado? Yeah. Fl I don't know. Flamingo NATO doesn't really go, but that's kind of the situation here. Awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. You definitely got some good accessorizing on this guy. It's kind of like Sharknado, except with flamingos. Awesome. I'm really glad that you like it. Um, all right, I can unplug this charger now. All right, so let's take a look at it, scan through it. Look at that sparkle. The paint itself sparkles, and then obviously these embellishments sparkle. I do have to say, I really like this glass on the white piece up here. That looks really, really nice. So we've got our Sharknado of Flamingos. And that's what that guy looks like. You got some great sparkle on that one, Cool Kill. All right, so that is Winter Skies Metallica. So let me set this guy over here to dry. I am so glad that you love it. And then see that shine on it? Isn't that pretty? And that's the paint and then also the stuff that we added to it too. So that was a fun one. And that navy, oh, these colors are amazing. All right. All right, so now we are going to do our drip pan, and this is going to be wild. This is going to be a wild drip pan. Um, so basically, the acrylic paint that you need to use for this, um, I use um, ready to pour acrylic paint. So you can see right here, it's ready mixed. You can use regular acrylic paint. But if you do, you're going to need to, because it, acrylic paint is so thin, you want to have the paint be thin enough to like actually flow over the painting. So if you want to mix regular, you know, one of those little acrylic paints that you can get pretty cheap, you can mix it with um, Floetrol. And you can just get this at Home Depot. But if you need any specific instructions about it, send me a message and I can tell you the ratio to add to the paint or anything like that. I'm always happy to answer any questions that anybody has. I don't claim to be an expert, but I'm always happy to share whatever I know with you guys. Oh, no problem, Isabel. 
The answer is yes, you can mix um, regular acrylic paint. The type of paint that I use though, I use ready uh, mixed pouring paint. So this paint is already mixed up. Um, you need to make sure that the paint is thin enough to flow over the canvas. So you need to either buy it where it's already ready to pour, or if you have like, you know, those tiny little acrylic paints that they sell at the store, you can mix that up with a uh, flow trawl, which I get at Home Depot. This is, I think like 16, $17 a bottle. And it does last for a long time. And this just makes it really thin. And it just gives you that nice, like, see that watery consistency. Yep, so it flows. But if it you have any, yeah, and if you have any questions about the ratio of paint that I use or you need some more details, just uh, message me on IG. I'm always happy to share whatever I know. Um, I don't claim to be an expert, but I'm always happy to tell you guys if you have any questions about anything. I've definitely made them a lot of mistakes, so I can always share those with you guys. Um... Okay, I'm trying to see. Let's see if we can get. Here we go. Yeah, no, it's definitely really fun to do. I love it. I think it'd be fun for you and your husband to try it for sure. And I can give you some really good ideas. Um, and I can give you a shopping list and, you know, tell you how to use coupons and everything. So anybody that has a question, please send me a message. And I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert and I never claim to be, but um, I'm happy to share what I know. It's an excellent thing to do together on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun, Isabel. <laughs> or just a date night or anything like that, you know. It's a fun thing I mean, to do. It's, it's absolutely no fun to do each and every night. For <laughs> I don't know. I have. I, I don't know. I have fun doing it, even every though. Even though I do it like almost every day, I still I love it. You should totally have a party with your friends. And I always recommend they sell starter kits, where they sell them in sizes like this at Michaels. And so for anybody, I recommend getting a starter kit. And then once you've tried it out, um, you can, you, if you like it, then you can kind of invest in, you know, more expensive because the paints can be expensive. Like this is probably, this is like $16 a bottle. So paints are really expensive, um, especially if you're getting a lot of paints. Some brands are cheaper and some brands are more expensive. But I recommend doing the starter kits first, um, just because sometimes you try it out and you're like, you know what? I really don't like this, you know, and then you haven't invested that much money in it. So I always recommend getting a starter kit. Um, a starter kit usually has about four or five colors in it. And, um, and then basically I would say that's enough to cover about two canvases. So if you get yourself a starter kit and you get about, two canvases, like a two pack of canvas. Um, but like I said, feel free to message me and I'll send you a shopping list and explain. There's some good coupons for Michael's too. So, but that's always my recommendation when somebody's getting started, just like with makeup, you, you know, like when you're trying a new mascara or you're trying a new um, powder or whatever, if you can buy a travel size first, before you commit to a full size, I always recommend that. So it's kind of the same concept. All right. What is AC Moore? Is that like a paint store or a paint brand? We only have Michael's and Hobby Lobby here. And then sometimes I'll order the paints online. I've ordered some stuff from Amazon. I've ordered some stuff from a couple different places. Somebody recommended Blix. I want to try to order some stuff from them. I've kind of got a wish list on there. Stuff I want to try. So, 
There's definitely lots of places to get paint. Oh, that sounds amazing, Cool Pill. That sounds like an awesome store. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that would be a cool store. Definitely could use some sales. Hobby Lobby's pretty good too. Hobby Lobby's paints are pretty expensive though. So I usually only go there when they have a sale. Um, there we go. So there's always, there's so many good stores, but honestly, I guess Michael's and Hobby Lobby would probably be the main ones that most people use. Oh, Joann's. Yeah, Joann has some great craft stuff. I've been surprised by stuff I found at Joann's. I don't know if uh, Joann's has pour paint, do they? If so, I need to go there and see what they have for pour paint and see what uh, what brands they have. Oh, I'll definitely have to look because Joann's is good. Joann's has all kinds of uh, different things. Yeah, you can totally see the lettuce. There's our lettuce. Joann's is surprising, you know, like craft stuff. It's not just fabrics. They have a lot there, a whole lot there. Oh, cool. I'll be sure to check out the coupons. I'll try to go next week and see if they have pour paint or anything we can use. I always forget about Joann's and I always forget that we have a Joann's. I don't know. So this is definitely an interesting, interesting uh, drip pan. I don't think we've had one that looked like this. I don't know if they have paint or not, but I definitely am willing to check it out because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they have paint or not. I need to ch check it out because they have so many other cool things. Like I said... I generally go to Michael's. I don't go to Joann's a lot, but I do go a couple times a year. And every time I go, I'm really surprised by how much great craft stuff they actually have there. So cool. Three blessings. I'll definitely check it out. I'm very curious. Cause honestly, Michael's can't keep up with us. Like we haven't had this emerald green color for like almost a month for three weeks. I had to go to another town this morning just to try to find it. So they can't keep up with us. So I need a couple other places to go for paint. So I'm definitely going to check that out. You guys always have the good ideas. Um, I don't even know what I would call this drip pan. Like, I don't even know what I'd call this. Yep, these are crazy colors in here. Mad Colors. That's kind of a cool name for a painting. Mad Colors, yo. Mad Watermelon Crawl. That's a really good one. Totally looking like watermelon vibe. Vibrations. That's a good one, too. Oh, it says that they do. Nice. Oh, cool. Thanks for checking that. I think I'm definitely going to go because we, we run out of these colors all the time on here. I wonder what brands they carry. have to do some research tonight. River of Colors. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check that out. I'm just like, ooh, what brands do they have? I really like the Deco Art brand. It's a cheaper brand, but it's really got some cool stuff. Like, that's where we get our rose gold color. Like, there's some unique colors in the deco art. Color drama. That's a good one. Color drama. Um, I would call this one... Hmm... I have no idea. <laughs> like, I see a lot of navy. I see a lot of pink. I see green. Like, this one's definitely unique. We don't usually get these colors. Navy taco heart. Navy taco heart. I'll write that navy down. Navy taco hearts. Yeah. 
Navy taco hearts. <laughs> Taco Hearts Navy. <laughs> I think Navy Taco Hearts works pretty good. Um, See, Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Where's he at? Find him, sweetie. <laughs> I, I see him. Oh, I do too. I love him too. Where is he? Papa Smurf. See him in his red hat? Oh my gosh, how did you see him? <laughs> you saw it right away. Um, that's oh my gosh, that's awesome. I was a big fan of Smurfs back in the day. I'd recognize them anywhere. Barbie and Friends. That's cute. Oh my gosh. We could call it ADD. I like it. ADD. Yeah, ADD is a name. That's a good, just kind of take that and use that as a name. Yeah, the bigger canvases are pretty. And because they're bigger, they take up a nice space on your wall. They're an interesting conversation piece of abstract art. Pretty cool. Oh, that's a good one. Color Me ADD. I like it. Um, This is your brain. On paint. On poor paint. Your brain on canvas. That sounds a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Color me Papa Smurf. That's a good one. I love that there, there's a little Papa Smurf in there. What a great cartoon. Oh, this is your brain on abstract. That's good. That's better than the one I suggested. I like it. This is your brain on abstract. Any questions? <laughs> okay, so we got some really good names for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and start this guy off. Um, and keep in mind that this is our drip pan painting. So this is going to be a 16 by 20 size uh, frame. So 16 by 20. You can see a lot of the colors that we use tonight. We can definitely see a little bit of lettuce on this guy. <laughs> lots of pink, lots of strawberry, watermelon, definitely some navy. Um, and we do have some name suggestions for this as well. So, um, but yeah, 16 by 20 takes up a nice little space, amount of space on your wall. Um, got all the colors in it. Definitely abstract. And hey, it's got a Papa Smurf. There you go. <laughs> it even comes with a Smurf. It even comes with a Smurf. Can't beat that. So, yeah, it's cool that we had so much red. We never have this much red usually because we don't use a lot of reds yeah. normally. So it was cool to be able to use some reds today. A little smidgy green in there always looks good. Have a good night, Deb. I yeah, it was definitely fun. We did. We came up with some great, like the paintings we did tonight turned out great. They turned out absolutely beautiful. And it was really fun doing that geode thing. It was cool sharing the geode thing with you guys. So I think that'll be something that you guys will want to add yeah, in the vacation. future. Well, vacation! You are the father. You are the father. It'd be funny if somebody's like listening in another room, they think this was like an episode of Maury. It's like, yeah. what are you watching in there? Why do they keep saying they are the father? Can't believe you're on the show and people my geode because my geode Taj is like, yeah, better. right. That's yep. my geode. Is that the one you made? Yes. Oh. So this is the one you made. See, we make <laughs> we do art together sometimes. <laughs> Have a good night. Three blessings. <laughs> yeah, so he made this one. And just notice it's got like this glitter in it too. See the glitter? And this is resin too. Compared to hers. Yeah, but <laughs> I made this one and he made this one. Maybe you can auction it off for your... You got to figure out what you're going to have in the show. I know it gets addicting their vacation. I know, and it really is. And everyone's different and unique too, so it's hard to be like, "Oh, I already have one of those," because it's impossible. Because they're all have different. So now you have to name it. 
Have a good night. Get some rest. Thanks. Okay, so let me read the names to you. And you know that you don't have to, um, you can totally come up with your own. But this is what we have. Taj has got wallpaper at her house. Yeah. But she's got them arranged so cool. Like, I wish I had an eye like that. Like, I wish I could make, arrange things and decorate like that. Um, ooh, Papa Smurf party. You're already way ahead. I love how you put the Papa Smurf in there. That's awesome. I love that. Papa Smurf party. Good call, good call. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I love it. Aw, that's awesome. Yeah, the Papa Smurf is so cool. Best cartoon ever. I don't know. I liked Muppet Babies, too, but I don't know. It'd, be either, it'd either be Smurfs or Muppet Babies. I don't know which one. And um, would you like to decorate this guy? Would you like to add any accessories, or do you want to leave it as is? Maybe you want to embellish your little Smurf Smurfy. Yeah, see, the Muppet Babies were awesome. I always love how they would like use their imaginations and like go everywhere. It was just so cool. It was such a good cartoon. I feel like such an old person. <laughs> like we had to walk eight miles in the snow both ways to watch our cartoons. <laughs> it's like yes, um, that's true. Taj, if you go on Taj's profile, you can see it on her profile. Like the background. It looks really cool. I'm just like, man, I wish I could. I should arrange my paintings like that. I don't know. I want to do something cool in my hallway. That's all I know. Rose gold. Ooh, always a good choice. Here's our lovely rose gold. That's just beautifuls. I think that would look lovely. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ugh. Like I said, I wish I was better at decorating. You know how some people can, like, make a room look, I don't know. Somehow they're able to just make a room look really cool. In the sea of pink. Awesome. So I'm going to start right here. Because this is definitely, I don't know, is this pink or red? Do you consider this pink or red? I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of pink. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I was thinking that you meant. But some people are so good at, like, decorating. They can, like, decorate with nothing. You know? Like, I'm not as good at decorating. I can decorate paintings, but that's about it. I don't know. You have to have an eye for that type of thing. Nothing in my house matches. There's, like, no theme. I tried to do a theme for a while, but I don't know. It didn't exactly work out for me, so. I don't know. I'd like to decorate my house. I need somebody to help me. I need some help. I need some backseat painters decorating my house. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, and the red area by Papa Smurf. Gotcha. That looks cool. Look at that rose gold. Pop. And then the pink area by Papa Smurf. We're going to have a smurfing good time. Ooh, we get to talk. We get to bring back the word smurfing. I am smurfingly decorating this this painting. Yeah, that sounds cool. You know, because if you have like a black wall, I mean, that's like a blank canvas. And it makes everything pop. It makes everything pop as well. That is so cool. We got a little Smurf in here. 
smurfingly. Um, okay, let me show you what we've got for greens. So, you know I've got the green emerald pieces of glass. So those are those guys. And then let me see what else I've got for greens. Um, I do have glitter in pretty much every color of green. And I do have, what else? What else do we have that's green? We've got our cactuses. Got our green cactuses. Um, what else do we have that's green? Let's see. Oh, I keep forgetting we have these flowers. We haven't used these yet, have we? I don't think, well, I think maybe we've used them for one painting. Maybe not. Um, gold glitter in some of the green. Ooh, I think that'd be a nice pop too. Let me see. Gold, gold. Gold always looks cool though. All right, so I've got two um, golds. One is like definitely more of a yellow gold and I can also mix them together. Okay, so you like this guy better? Awesome. Okay, so there's that guy. And then we'll put that one in the green. Gotcha. Can't go wrong with glitter. Um, I don't know. I think, I think the gold might be kind of cool, but let me show you what I've got in green. Because we could always mix them. I don't know. I never say no to glitter, so. I never say no to adding as much glitter as we possibly can. No, leave the gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to use the gold. And then do you want to mix the gold with any of the green? I've got one, two, and three. And actually two and three look like they're the same kind of. Actually, this one may be a little lighter. Okay, just the gold. 